Oh, she really did just DM me her Skype. Let's, Let's go. fucking go. Ooh. Let's fucking go. Alright. Oh my god, hi Sky. Hey! I don't want to get into a yelling match with you. I'm I just not think yell that you. your I just think that your logic behind your entire video is awful. Okay. So why don't you uh, why don't you just start by telling me why? Well, to start off, I'm just really kind of disappointed that you would make that claim. Okay. What claim? Because you stream as a minority. Okay. <laughs> Right. I do. I, I am a minority. So you're making the claim that Nicole Slav represents all female streamers. Um, and you also stream as a minority. Couldn't you say the same thing for you? Okay, what um, if there's okay. gay streamers that aren't comfortable with talking about how they love sucking cock? And I go to their stream and I'm like, my favorite streamer, Sky, talks about how he loves sucking cock. So I think as a gay streamer, you should talk about it too. That's just using your same logic. Okay. Is that it? Yes. Is that is that not true? Well, okay. First Do you not all, see how that makes you hypocritical? Well, first of all, I'd like to start by saying I don't understand why you say that I the video was about Nicole Slot. Because the other females that you I don't know pointed out in the stream was Jesse Rogers, who is completely irrelevant, who doesn't even stream anymore, and then Skix, who got banned because of her behavior okay and then i don't know two other streamers that i don't even know who they are so i think nicole saw was yes, obviously the target hold on my friend wants to join the call sure oh she just hung up i'm just gonna wait for her to talk and then i'm gonna just go in I can't tell if she's trolling though. Hello? Hey, what's up? Hey. Is, is this cat cam? No, it's oh, not. Oh, really, cam. dude? Oh, man, you're killing me. I don't even. Okay. Um, okay, so to start, um, I guess my initial fear with accepting that to be hypocritical is um, the amount of times that I sit on camera and just say, Hi guys, I'm Sky and I love sucking huge amounts of dick is probably like once every hour and a half. I mean, I'm using that as an example, but you obviously lose use your sexual orientation as a way to get viewers, don't you? Don't you use that as a gimmick to get viewers? Well, when you say gimmick, I, I see it as just like who I am and that's comedy. And now I, I know what you're going to say, but my body is who I am, right? No, I wasn't going to say that actually. Well, I think. Well, that that's what, what if she did say that? What would the argument be against that? If you're just like a relatively sexual person, what's the argument against using that as marketing? Well, you can market it, and that's fine. You you are you are more than welcome to use your breasts, your pussy, your ass, whatever you want. I am not saying that's wrong. It's your body. Do what you want. And the funny thing is, I said that in my video seven seconds in. It's your body. Do what you want. This is just my opinion. All I'm asserting is that if you are purposefully taking advantage of these young 12 to 14 year old horny kids, you are not wrong or a slut. You are an asshole. You're a jerk. What, well, well, you, what's that? Wait, what's the, what's the argument then? So Casey Tron, t for, first of all, I mean, I think to say taking advantage of 12 year old kids is pretty rough because I don't think anybody forces them to watch wait, this hold channel. Hold on, hold on. Are you Destiny? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, shit. I no, feel I very just, strong I've about this. I've just literally heard, like, words, but I, I heard about you, but I never actually met you. Nice to meet you. Oh, that could either be a really good thing or a really bad thing. Nice to meet you, too. Well, um, I mean, how, how, do you, how, do you, how do you say that, so for Casey Tron, to say that she takes advantage of 12-year-old boys, right? 
how, how could somebody not levy the same criticism at you? And this is coming, I like your stuff, I think it's funny, okay? But I like Casey Tron's stuff too. How could somebody not levy the same criticism at you to say that you take advantage of all the white people that like to watch black people and laugh at black humor even though, I mean, you, you know the stereotype, right? Like yeah. black people Twitter, that entire subreddit is Oh my people, god, it's the right? funniest it's all shit white in the people world. Put, yeah, but, but, so how could you say that you don't take advantage using the same kind of tactics, I guess? <laughs> well, if I were on stream talking about my impoverished lifestyle, about how I grew up in the projects, and when my mom was a crack whore, and my dad left me when I was two, and I really am streaming to make money, yeah, then I'd be really milking the atypical, a lot of black people live that same life, a lot of people live that life, yes, I would be absolutely taking advantage of that, but I'm not. If I were coming at you by saying in high school I was bullied by being gay, I would walk outside and a boulder would smash my face in, then maybe, yeah, people would feel sorry for me and give me viewers. Using it as a comedic tool is not the same thing as taking advantage of the sexual desires that young men have just intrinsically in them. That's not fair. That's not a fair well, I mean, like, well, that we, we're, this is like crazy, like false equivalency. So you're saying that like people don't have like an innate desire to laugh at something? Like your videos are funny and they provide humor. And one of the tools that you use to provide that humor is the fact that you're black and gay. I'm assuming you're gay. I don't actually know, but I've watched enough of your videos. That's a very and I've seen safe. like enough gay jokes <laughs> that I. That, yeah, yeah. That's I, a I kind of, very safe right? assumption. So, so without actually knowing, right? I know that you use Whoa, that as dude, part of as subscriber. part of your you advertising gay? to people, the black and gay thing, and it's funny. It works, but I, I just don't see how you can use that. And I'm not saying that you pre present yourself as some impoverished black ghetto living person. Just as somebody that's gay and black, those are tool. Those are uh, two tools that you use to market your yourself and your comedy. Right. How is it that then you say to Casey Tron, "Hey, you have cleavage. You're not allowed to use that." Because that somehow takes advantage of people, but my stuff doesn't. Well, I think I'd, like to, I, I, I'd like to pause that really quick and let you know that there's a reason why I didn't use Casey Tron in my video at all. I love Casey, and I know what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. We're not stupid. She is a comedic genius, one of the funniest people I have ever met. I didn't include her in this because she's doing it for satire. Obviously. So, okay. so I want to stop. Well, I want to stop she, using Casey Tron as an example. Even if she is, even if she is doing it for satire, I still think she's a legitimate example of her video because she undeniably does get views from people that are going through the front page and they see her boobs and like, oh fuck, cleavage, hell yeah, I want to go tune in or whatever. Right, but I think no, 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 no. I actually can't agree with that completely. Yes, her tits are amazing. Honestly, she has great breasts, and we all love breasts. But I do think that part of her shtick is that she pisses her audience off with her words by saying, I'm playing at a really high well, level dude, right now. Oh my <laughs> god, I'm getting camped. I'm using this, I'm, I'm using my ultimate attack right now on this minion, and it's like, hello? Like, she's doing this obviously pissing people off that don't get it, entertaining the people that like to watch the people getting pissed off. She is not the target audience at all. Okay, but, okay, like even if you're using like Nicole Saul as an example, because I think she's the one who's received probably the most hate from the but whole thing. But that's her fault. She did that to herself when it's she- It's not your fault by putting her picture on your YouTube channel? No, 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 no. What, oh I'm, sa God. what I'm saying is <laughs> she, took, she took the video and milked it for the drama that it caused. Like that, that's what she did. She changed her stream. She kept calling me out. She, she is that not what you're on. doing right now, though? Are you faulting her for milking it for the drama that it caused? Whatever I'm not. The exact same I'm thing. not. I'm not. <laughs> Casey, I'm not. You're, you're literally putting comments in my mouth. I'm not. I'm not faulting. This is the game, Casey. You're playing the game, too. Don't be stupid. I know what you do. We were friends. I met you second day you started streaming. And you told me on raid call, oh, yeah, you know, I like seeing people get pissed off. Uh, you, you ain't stupid. You're not right, wait, wait, so like what you just said, that's so fucking true, right? We all, all three of us here, right? You two obviously bigger because fuck League of Legends, but all three of us here know what the game of streaming is like, right? Yes. Ha to, to fault somebody and literally, like, this realm, like a lot of people don't even realize it because they see people like us up here, right? With fucking three, four, five, twenty thousand 20,000 viewers sometimes, okay. right? Are, okay. are like, okay, cool, like streaming, you know, you live the life, blah, blah, blah. But if you don't, if, you, if you're not somebody that can even pull like 500 concurrent viewers, like it's brutal work. There is no guaranteed paycheck. There's no yes. fallback plan. There's no fucking yes. Medicare or anything like that, right? Preach. If you have the potential to market yourself and you're an attractive lady and you can fucking use boobs to get people in the door, right? Because that's all they do. Right. You know that, right? Looks don't keep people around. They, that only gets feet in the door initially. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, I, I, it's just it's just aggravating sometimes to hear 
um, not even just men, women do it too, but to hear people call out female streamers like, oh, you're such a fucking piece of shit. Like, all you fucking do is use your boobs to fucking get people to watch your stream. Like, well, I mean, sure, but I mean, all you do is, like, people aren't tuning into your stream to, to watch Challenger League jungling or, wh or whatever right. role you play, right? They Because you're okay. funny. They like your personality. Like, it's a bunch of non-gaming related reasons why they stick around. Okay. So I don't see why I don't see why it's fair to criticize other women for using, I mean, looks, which is something that is used in every fucking thing ever, right? Where are all of the ugly actresses and actors in Hollywood? Would, right? Like, right. looks are just something that you can use to market. Why, why is it right. such a bad thing? Okay, the well, stop liking what I don't like mentality. That's all it is. Well, let to me, me, anyway. Well, let me start by saying um, I understand that the system right now set up by, um, by Twitch, in fact, I'd like to even get out of Twitch and say that women have it hard no matter what. Uh, that's, I honestly believe that. The game that women are playing are, is a game that they are almost forced to play because as we sexualize them in media, we understand that you know we're using them as objects to sell a product. Now these women are just taking advantage of that same mentality and using it to sell themselves on Twitch. Right? Is I don't even know if I necessarily agree with that though. Like, it's an easy way to get viewers, but yes. there are shining examples of women that do make it without hamming up the sexuality aspect at all. I agree. Um, Hoffu yeah. is the a perfect Hoffu example of that. Is the perfect example it's for sure. Favorite. Yeah. Right. Hoff is a great example. But I hold know on. Fucking... Hold on. There was more to that point. So women already have a okay. fucked system. I feel. I feel like it's just, it's it's just easier sometimes to flaunt your body. I don't agree, and I don't disagree with that. And if people do that, I don't want you to keep saying that I have like that i have a problem with it like i'm just saying from my perspective i have seen countless girls that either don't have the looks or the confidence get completely bashed made fun of and they feel shitty because they can't be these girls now is it anyone's fault no it's not the girl fault. make the video then let it <laughs> casey i didn't interrupt you when you were talking can you give me the same respect yes. thank you I said, I made the video because for those girls, I want them to know that somebody's looking. And to the girls that use their bodies to manipulate younger men, my point of the video was not to say they are a whore. You, I am not slut shaming. My point is not to say that they are the, that they deserve the shit they get. I'm not victim blaming. I'm not using any of that shit and I won't stand for it. What I'm saying is if you are purposefully using your body to make a horny 12 year old give you money, which yes, there's not a lot of streamers that do that. It's few and far between, but for those few that get thousands of views and make their money off of horny little boys, work your hustle, make your money, boo boo. It does not make you not a dick though. Like it makes you a jerk. Wait, what, what, who, who's losing in that situation? Like who's the loser there? Wait, losing, wait, you mean, wait, losing in, in the situation of a horny kid giving them money? Yeah, who's the loser there? There, well, there is no so, intrinsic just, loser. I mean, the boy, what's the, the, what's the problem? The little boy is getting, is getting their money, and the, the girl, or yeah, the, the boy is giving his money, and the girl is getting the attention. The girl gives the boy the attention, now he can go beat off in the bathroom, right? Like that's so the the, the transactions come. Are we gonna pretend that that's like some abhorrent thing in a chat room full of there's twenty thousand people in here, nineteen thousand nine hundred of them probably have porn like in the last fucking five pages visited. And Absolutely. We're gonna pretend that like uh, that like people watching a streamer because they're sexually attracted to them that that's a huge problem. Like this seems like a totally victimless thing where we're just trying to like impose morality on streamers because. Like, what's what's the problem if a bunch... Let's say I'm 15 years old, and there's a streamer, Casey Trent, and I think she's hot as fuck, and I want to go and throw five bucks at her because I think it's funny for her to read my message. So I donate the five dollars, and I see it, and I laugh. Like, who... Like, what's the... There's no... That, that's a win-win. Like, what? who's the loser there? The only possible loser that I can think of that, that you were kind of bringing up in the beginning are, quote-unquote, all these girls that stream and people make fun of their bodies, like... I sound like a dick saying this, but again, I'm sure you know this, being black and gay, I'm sure you know this more than anyone else, the internet is a brutal fucking place. I'm a white guy, and I know, the, and the internet is fucking brutal for me, right? So it's fucking brutal for everybody. Like, even me, as, a, as privileged as I am, like, I've gotten fucking two or three different detailed accounts of how people want to rape my four-year-old son. Like, the internet is a fucked up place. If you're streaming as a woman, and you're not that attractive, you have to play something else up. You can't just stream as a woman and say, like, oh, well, I'm gonna get viewers, and, like, and then someone comes by and calls you ugly, and you decide to quit? I mean, I'm sorry, dog, but you were never gonna make it streaming 
if somebody calling you ugly <laughs> is the, is the thing that makes you turn the fucking t turn X split or OBS off. Like that's a person that's never gonna make it past fifty concurrent viewers if they take criticism from random anons on the internet that seriously. Okay, I was just waiting for you. Well, I'd like to start by saying that um, I think my point was the intent of what you're trying to do. You guys oh keep God. saying you that money. I use being black and gay or whatever as a way to get viewers. Oh and you got hold on, money. I keep getting donations and it's loud. Um, I, I, I think that you keep saying that I use it to get viewers when that's not true at all. I'm using that as a defense mechanism because for me, that's the only way that I could actually deal with it because if I didn't tell anyone that I was black and gay, it's obvious I'm gay. I get called nigger all the time. And of course, oh people are going to hear the you femininity in my voice, so I'll just be called a faggot. So I might as well use it as something that I can fight back. So if they call me black and gay, they are just, it's just descriptive words. So what are they going to do to hurt me? Nothing. I don't use it as a way to get viewers. In fact, that'd be the worst way to use to get viewers because shit, man. Like, like you said, the internet is a rough place. Nobody really wants to hear about a faggot sucking dick. Nobody really wants uh, like, uh, like, no, come on. What? We don't no. know that. Your videos are well, funny uh, as fuck and yeah, the black hate thing helps. Like, it's yeah, funny. It, it's it funny does, it does help. Well. But why don't we go back? We can. I can <laughs> give you like my past like four to five videos. I have not sucked a single dick or smoked a crack rock. Ain't no chicken and took it and nothing in my ass. I'm telling you right now, I don't flaunt it as much as other niggas. They just tell that to me because that's the ongoing joke. Much like I am Gosu as a girl. It's just an ongoing joke that I will never live down. Much like X Fiora Master 18, much like DST, people just like to talk. I agree. When I use black and gay, that's descriptive, but I'm trying to get off that crutch, but people won't let me live that down. I'm attempting to, br to, br to you know, branch from that. That's what I'm doing. So I'm not going to sit here and have you tell me that I'm, that's the only reason why I have viewers. No, 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 I never said that. I never said that was the only reason. The same way, the same thing that that's, like, Casey Tron, the only reason she doesn't, or has viewers, isn't because she has breasts. Like, we know that. There are tons she's of hilarious. She's a genius. Yeah, exactly, because you need more than that. To the, more than just a gimmick to keep people on your stream, right? And if you're trying to get off the oh black God. and gay thing or whatever, I mean, like, that's fine. I, I don't care. I've never had a problem with people using gimmicks to market themselves because I know, like, just like the other two people, both of you in the Skype call know, <coughs> that streaming is a brutal fucking business. Yes. And you sometimes you have to do whatever the fuck you can Whoa, to market dude, yourself. A subscriber. But, like, what the, the fact that it, it seems kind of strange now that you're talking about how hard you're trying to get off the black and gay thing while also insisting at the same time that it wasn't a gimmick that you were using to get popular then like if it, if it works and it's funny then why are you trying so hard to get off of it now like it's just kind of weird wait it's not weird at all okay in the world of comedy you will never be past a d-list comic unless you start making everything funny okay like it, a lot of people think that poop and fart jokes are funny but that shit is cringy to people that actually know comedy you know um a, a lot of famous comics right now um that that go to like the improv and that go to uh, whatever they, they talk about you know how many black jokes have you had when i was growing up my mama she loved fried chicken Woo wait like okay yes that's that's slapstick funny it's gonna give you a laugh or two but you're not gonna get on a big stage with that you're not gonna get on tv with that that's everyone does that that's why i'm trying to get off it i'm trying to grow as a comic i don't want to have to use i want me being black and gay to be a descriptive, not what defines me. I want to be Sky Williams, the comic, not Sky, the black and gay comic. And I am working on weaning myself off. My fans will tell you already that I, you know, I haven't been saying it as much recently. And it's a process. It's a long process. But I'm working on it. At yeah, least I can say all that. of that... Everything you just said is like totally fine and totally cool. But so how does any of that tie into why women shouldn't be allowed to use their sexuality to, to gain views? Like You said that to me! You were telling you me that being black and gay was equivalent of using giving uh, of using their tits for views. You made that claim to me. So it's okay. up to the burden of of, of proving that claim is that well, 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 I, well, I said it was the same and all you told me was that you were trying to get rid of it you never said that they're totally fucking different no no no, no, no. I don't remember yeah, no, I, I, I did say that they were different because I'm not using it to get views I'm not milking it for that I'm using it but as you a did defense initially. mechanism you can't deny that your early videos that you made you played that gimmick up in, in order to gain views it was part of your c comedy I think even your sub notification is are you gay or whatever isn't it like yeah, because, because of my video, Whoa, Dude, What Are You Gay? That's like, and that's one of my most famous gameplay video with Donkey. So yeah, of course yeah, so I'm going like, to play so that how, one how, So how could you say that you don't use the gay and the black thing at all to, to 
as part of your comedic No, see, now, see, now you're talking about absolutes. Never once did I say I didn't use it at all. I said I just, I'm trying not to. Okay, I, I understand that, but, but, so the comparison that I made was that women sometimes use their sexuality as part of their marketing ploy. And then I said that it's strange that you call women out on that because you've used, and you just said, because you said you you just said that you've never said you haven't ever done it, right? There was like 50 negatives in there, right? But I said that your black and gay kind of gimmick thing that plays into your bit is similar to a woman using her looks or sexuality to market to people. So I, I so I don't understand like wh at what point do you say that that's totally not true? Or I don't think you've ever said that that's totally they're, they're totally different things. I'm not gonna claim that these two are totally different things. Using something to elicit a reaction. Let's take. Let's use an example of Phantom Lord. Love him to death. But when the whole derp trolling thing was going on, he knew. He understood that he can make a shitload of money by just keeping it going, and he used that to his advantage. Did that make him a like? Does he deserve to be called a bunch of names? Probably not. And of course, it doesn't really like nothing well, sexual like, can be play here. That example is really bad, and I'll take effect to that because I can say that that example was objectively and ethically disgusting because he gave a huge platform to people that are actively harming any community that they're ever part of, whether it's a gaming community or gaming forums or Reddit or Twitter accounts. Like those guys were objectively bad, right. and right. Phantom Lord playing up that drama was something that was objectively harmful to the community. Sure. I, again, going back to my early example, I don't think there are any losers in a transaction. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold uh, on, hold 15, on, hold on. The 16-year-old donating on, five on. bucks to a, said, a woman streamer because you, he thinks You she said has, that like, what Phantom Lord did was bad just now, right? You're objectively, right? Yes, yeah. Okay, okay, however, you still don't think that no matter how bad it is as a streamer yourself, that that hustle was... Like, I had to respect the nigga's hustle. I didn't say that... I, it sucked. What he did was shitty, sure. But the nigga made money. And at the end of the day, that's all I can say is like, man, that was a dick move, but you made your money. Good shit. Like, that's in my heart. I'm sorry. I, I may not agree with what he did, but he's making his money. Much like I don't agree with women taking advantage of horny kids, but they're making their money. Whoa, that was a crazy false equivalency. No, you can't. If what he did was objectively or morally bad, that would be like me saying, well, that guy fucking murdered that dude. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. $150. Objectively, but even though, you know, it's his hustle and he made money, so I respect that. No way, those are two Hold on, hold on. You know, things. you know that derp trolling didn't only just take down League, right? They took down a lot of sites like, like, God hates fags and a whole bunch of hate sites too, the KKK. Like they did, I'm not saying they were good people, but I'm saying they didn't just like, yeah, we hate everyone. They weren't just fucking assholes. But I'm not going to debate whether or not derp trolling was amazing or bad. I'm just saying, dude, you can't use objective here because that's, it, it's a subjective thing. And it's not subjective. It's as objective as it comes. It's black and white. Phantom Lloyd was joining servers and he was requesting the derp people to fucking DDoS them. I mean, even legally, it's in the wrong. But this is, this is not like a gray area at all. This is a very easy black and white, like, objective fucking wrong thing it's an absolute it's shitty people. thing that happened it is an absolute shitty thing that happened but i'm not going to allow you to compare that to this like in that I, way I in that way in, in, in that way in, oh my god destiny in that way in can god okay god i said in that way nigga can you chill can you just relax i wasn't i wasn't even supposed to talk to you and I'm, I'm glad that you're here. I think what Destiny is trying to say is that you're comparing what girl streamers do to derp trolling whenever what derp trolling did was harmful and what female streamers do that sexualize themselves. It's not harmful. You wait, That's you don't the think point that, that female Destiny streamers... getting ready to make. You don't feel like, you don't feel like female streamers that um, do what they do, you don't feel like that's harmful? No. Wait. But like Destiny said, who is that harmful who's to? The loser, who's the loser in that transaction? Yeah, that hasn't been answered yet. And you even said there were no losers there. If a 15, 16 year old guy wants to throw 15 bucks at a girl's. There you go. Back, back. And we're back. Yeah. Yeah. What? I'll try. Click rejoin. Okay, I'm here. Are you beat hey, on? Uh, you should no. have started talking about that derp trolling. No, nah, I'm, but I'm, but I was just being real. Like, I don't. If it makes you feel better, Casey Trans Tits have never DDoS connection offline before, so I think that makes the derp trolling guys objectively bad. <sighs> of course. What? I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. Look, man, I just. 
I, I don't know. I think. That, I think. I don't, like, I, don't, I don't. know if we're on stream right now. I don't. I don't think that we are. But I think you are. Your stream is up, so don't say anything. What? No. Okay. Well. In any. In any case, I just. I really feel like. Yeah, there are there are no intrinsic losers because if we're just going down like and and talking about this in that way, I feel like there there no one really loses because the boys get what they want and the girls get what they want. But I can't help but feel, and maybe I'm just not intelligent enough or not articulate enough to explain, but I just feel like the girl that looks at this happen and is incapable of doing the same thing or. Uh, the, the, the guys that say these horrible things in chat and, and, and the girls, they don't stop them or they don't ban them because they like the attention. I just, I don't know. And, and, and maybe I would have a different opinion if that girl didn't send me that nasty message on Facebook. Like, I think that my opinion Which was not different. Nicole Slaw, correct? It was not. No, I already cleared okay. that up. Thank you. It was not Nicole Because she got a Slaw. lot of shit for that. Well, I went in her chat and I, and I told her, um, and, and yeah. Hold up, CivHD wants to join. Can I can I bring up like a real example and then kind of bring it back to you a little bit in regards to that? So like you say that one of the things you don't like is when some woman tries to stream and all of a sudden everybody's comparing her to like Casey Tron or Nicole Star, somebody else who shows cleavage, right? Maybe not necessarily Casey Tron. Um, there are some transgendered people okay. that in, no, I don't want to say like enjoy talking about being transgendered, but it's a big part of who they are and they're very vocal about it, right? And I also know that in the StarCraft 2 community, there's an amazing player called Scarlet who is transgendered, right? It's publicly known. She does not talk about it ever. She just It's just not something that she enjoys talking about, okay. right? Sometimes I feel like when AMAs are, are poised or when people have like deep questions for or whatever, it kind of feels like sometimes people are almost expecting her hey, to talk add, about um, it. Add Civ HD. Because this is, people a, are this is a 2v1, yeah. I need my nigga. Sure. It almost feels like people are expecting her to talk about it more sometimes because other transgender people are so vocal, right? But okay. but you can obviously say that, like, well, you can't blame, like, all the fucking transgender people for that or, like, it's just wrong what people are asking of her. If she's not comfortable with it, she doesn't have to do it, right? Looking back to your example, what if there is a gay streamer on Twitch who, unlike you, doesn't like to use who's the gay thing at all, right? But let's say it's kind of obvious he's gay. He talks with the, whatever, the gay lisp and has like gay mannerisms or whatever, but he really, really, really does not like it. He doesn't enjoy it. He doesn't want people to bring it up and he doesn't even want people to mention it. But people watch oh Skystream you and you know, you so gay is your sub sound and everything you do, you're like, you're really open about it and gay and funny and it's awesome. Well, now I'm watching this guy stream. Why is this asshole so fucking conceited? Why can't like he just act like a little bit funny? Why does he, ha why doesn't he talk about being gay at all? Like, why is he so like, I don't know. It just seems kind of weird. Like he's so fake, like, you know, like, I don't understand how you can't see the connection between what other people could do with you and other gay or black streamers versus what other people would do with like a, a cleavage streamer and then a woman streaming who doesn't want to show cleavage, you know? And that's the problem. I'm just not like, again, I, I, I guess I'm just not as articulate, so I'll give him my best shot and to say that there's a reason why no one, there's a reason why this is just hypothetical because there, that doesn't happen. If someone, The reason why, yeah, but do you know why it's hypothetical? Because there aren't a lot of gay streamers. There aren't there aren't because a lot there, of gay streamers that aren't, aren't and there aren't and there aren't a lot of female streamers. This is still like a ninety five percent fucking male dominated. Hold on, hold on. I gotta Okay, hey, I'm gonna restart this call. I'm gonna call Civ H D as well. Okay. okay. Alright. Two V one. I gotta get Civ in here. Civ. Hey Sky. Oh my god. Dude, I I got tricked into a yelling match. I need your help. Alright, I'm are really good at that. Let's do this. Thank you so much. I I got I got tricked. I got fucking tricked, and I gotta. I, I have I have points, but they just tricked me into a two v one. Fuck. All right. Don't worry. Ask, I have a ask, lot of experience with tricks. Ask the uh, ask Destiny to come Can back. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, hold on. All right, I got him. Hi, Steph. Hey, Casey. I haven't got to talk to you much. That's all right. Okay, call fail. Do I have to add him as a? Let's see. Um, let's see if I can do. Yeah, it you do have to add him. Uh, okay, I I'll add him right now. Casey, real quick though. You. Are you serious right now? Oh, sorry. What? I had to click the join call. <sighs> God damn it, man. Hey, sorry, Destiny. Man. Hey, what's up? Sorry for causing so much trouble trying to join the call. 
Okay. No, it's okay, buddy. So, um, <clears throat> uh, the, the reason why that hypothetical doesn't exist is because, <coughs> like, <coughs> well, one, if you want to say that, you know, there's only, like, 5% girls, I don't really know that many uh, gay streamers in any spotlight. I'm just unaware. Um, I don't know if you have the numbers on that, if you keep track, but, um, you know, I don't... I don't, I don't really know what the, what the point you were trying to make. You said you you asked me, do you know why? And I'm asking, yeah, we'll continue. The point, okay. The point, the point, the point is like the point is really simple. I'm saying that because some women stream with cleavage, that doesn't mean that all of a sudden every single woman should be treated as though she's has to stream with cleavage. Like that, that doesn't make sense. Like that's really silly. Much the same way that just because you stream in a particular way doesn't mean that everybody should stereotype every guy to stream, every gay black guy to stream in a particular way. Destiny, um, can I say a few things? Oh my god, you yeah, got sure. money. Uh, there's, there's kind of two things I want to say. Um, first thing I wanted to say was, I heard you say, like, about the kids watching uh, the girl streamers, you know, because it's exciting for them. And you were like, well, I bet all these guys have a porn website in their history, like, not five tabs ago. And I was like, are you serious? Like, were you never 12? Were you never 13? You know, you're, you're, I'm not sure what your parents did at your, that age, but my parents were smart. And my parents were like, hey, Robert, because that's, that's like my real name, it's not exclusive. And they were like, hey, Robert, um, we can totally see everything you do on that computer. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm, I'm not going to go on no porn websites. I'm, I'm going to... You know, and, and, and you find alternative ways to see exciting things, you know, and that's very relevant on Twitch TV. There's like a million kids Whoa, dude, that a subscriber. end what up gay? <laughs> and they're like, oh shit, I'm seeing something that's, that's making me feel special down there. This is fucking awesome, you know, and like they, they don't go on porn websites, are you kidding me? And so, I have not, so wait, what, what's your, are your argument that like is thirteen and fourteen year old kids shouldn't get horny? I don't know what the fuck. I don't know where we're going with this. What? Well, and I think I'm, it's I'm also saying, saying that like Nicole that. has like two hundred thousand viewers. Are you saying they're all twelve year old kids who can't visit a porn website? Like? Oh, oh, finally! Oh, it just came to my head. Thank God. Um, I'd like to, I'd like to go back and redact something. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know why this wasn't here earlier. So remember when I said? Remember when we were talking about there are no losers? Remember we were uh -oh. saying like yeah. the horny yeah. kids give the girl the money. Yep. The girl gets the money, they get their their thing, there's no losers. Well, I don't really think that's entirely true anymore. Uh, I oh. actually like the only it, and, and this is why I didn't say it earlier cuz I wasn't sure how to classify it. But I feel like these horny young boys are really impressionable. Now, when the streamers don't stop the, uh, the chat from calling them a slut and a whore, you don't think that these boys go in there and see that as okay? Does that make sense? Like if a if a twelve year old, what? A little Jenny is dancing on stream. She's streaming League of Legends. She's doing her routine and a dress. I mean, she does have nice breasts, and she's getting a lot of subs. Look, she's playing the game. She's playing. Now look, look, right now, right now, a little Jenny is dancing on her stream, full screen. It says League of Legends, but it's full screen. I'm watching it right now. She got her titties nice together. She got her eyes all done. Her eyebrows on fleek. Hair is nice. You know, she's definitely, she's getting a lot of subs right now. I see it. She might get some donations. Is she doing something wrong? I mean, she's acting like a cam girl. She might be. Oh, oh, put the camera down. Is she, is she doing something wrong? No. Is that kind of fucked up? Well, I think that she is just literally not playing League. She's literally just being a cam girl. So why do we have that on a gaming website? Why can't I mean, she go on- Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hasn't it been like 45 minutes since your last League game? Like, dog, I haven't seen you queue up for the fucking ladder thing. This is this is an isolated incident. I don't do this all the time. But she does that all the time. Well, so you're- So, like, I hear that statement a lot, and I think that's basically saying that- And if you want, I can play League right now. Her wearing a low- fuck. I don't know. I hear that statement a lot, and basically what you're saying is her wearing a low-cut shirt is the equivalent whoa, of dude, going and having what sex <laughs> with men on camera. Whoa, whoa, Casey, whoa, you're, whoa, You're saying whoa. that she should go to a porn site. Whoa, whoa, you're you... Saying, no, isn't that what you just said? No, you're saying no, no, that no, 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 said, no, no, You no. said she looks like a cam girl. No, I no, no, hold on, hold on. I don't give a... It's not about what she's wearing. It's full screen with her in an outfit dancing where it says, now playing League of Legends. I, I don't care... She could be wearing a fucking uh, 
Like she could be wearing a turtleneck. Okay, okay. Jeans so this is so then this is okay. So this is a terms of service violation. This is totally irrelevant to everything we're talking about. Then this is nothing. The shit out of me. No, I didn't. You're you're no, trying no, to. No, no, she did. Oh. Okay, this is, this is a terms of service violation. If she's not playing League at all or whatever, then sure, that's bad. But it doesn't matter what she's doing. It's totally irrelevant to everything we're talking about. Wait, no, no, no. No, it's not. I'm, I was making a point in saying what she's doing there is she's hustling. Even right now on this stream, we all know just as well, Destiny, that you would have never talked to me if you didn't feel like this was going to give you exposure. Same here. I would have never done this if I didn't think that I was going to get attention from this. We're all playing the game. Don't be stupid and okay. act like you don't I, know no, what I'm no, talking no, about. No, no one's being stupid here. And I know that fully well. I know that 100 million percent. You got fucking yeah, 22,000 viewers to put some on here. 22,000 viewers, you is, in case you're The benefiting. difference is, I don't make fun of girls that do it either. I fucking, I know that everybody's playing the game. I'm not like picking and choosing like, well, what? this bitch right here has her titties on stream. That's bullshit. And then I go back to my 4,000 league viewer stream where I'm at fucking gold one and people are only watching me because I'm funny. Like, because I would feel like a massive fucking hypocrite there because I know people aren't watching me for my top tier gameplay, right? No, I know no, no, no. that- Time out, time out, time out, time out. Destiny, there's a big difference. Um, like before you said, hey, you're saying people are watching these girls because they're hot and you're exactly the same because they're watching you because you're funny and it's not about the game either. I don't think that's really true. Like, we What's make the, the game funny. The game is meant to be fun and we are trying to make it more fun. We're trying to get the best out of it and make it funny, make jokes around it, sure, and that way get this entertaining <coughs> product. <coughs> I think it's very different from making it sexual, which has nothing to do with the game. Uh, that's not true. That's not even true because a lot of the humor that we get, even like with fucking when me and Casey Trump would stream League together, none, very few, almost none of that humor has anything to do with the game. It's me insulting her, and then her insulting me, and then insulting the cat cam guy or whatever. We might be playing League while we're doing it, but we could just as easily be playing StarCraft, Counter Strike, any other game. Those scenarios could take place. Absolutely, on. but the only reason why you're playing League is not only because A, it's the biggest platform and you want attention, much like me, but B, you understand that that is the target audience. Audience that would really garner something from watching Casey Tron's tits or whoever's and that's not wrong I'm sick of you telling me that I'm like that. I hate these girls for doing what Yo, they do You're the one that made the YouTube video about it. I'm not trying to put no, you about the one that made no, no, the then go back hurting Destiny, women streamers. That's, then go back and watch it. When did I say I hate these girls? They're fine. I don't agree with what they're doing, but it's it's the hustle it's the fucking hustle. Let them do it. That's fine. But I'm just saying, in my opinion, from what I'm looking at, a lot of girls that don't look as good as them can't do the same thing, and I just think that sucks. In fact, it doesn't suck. That's fucking reality. Much the same way that you can't yeah. hard the whoa, whoa, streamer who streams with his shirt just, off. I can't stream with that, my shirt off. I'm did you just say that doesn't suck? Wait a minute. Time out. Did you just say that doesn't suck? No, I said it does suck, but it's fucking reality. Yeah, I it's reality, it, and it I can sucks, never and capture that's an audience point. that wants to watch a black gay guy. I'll never capture Casey Jones' audience that wants to watch a funny girl with tits. I'll never capture an audience. I'll fuck. I'll never date a girl that wants a guy with huge fucking arms. It's reality. You have to play to your fucking strengths. Just because somebody else is out streaming you using one of their talents doesn't mean that you can tear them fucking down for it because you're too salty that you're not pretty enough or you're not funny enough. You have to play to your fucking strengths, especially on fucking Twitch TV. Whoa, 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 whoa! Go around and tell people whoa. that Destiny. oh, you're too hot. Destiny. Fuck you. You can't stream that hot because I'm not that hot. Destiny, Destiny, first of all, I'm that's so fucking entitled, Destiny, dude. Destiny, first of all, Destiny, hold on, Siv, like, Siv, There's no Siv. training involved there, Siv, usually. Siv. Siv, everybody, everybody, please hold up. First of all, I'm fucking beautiful. Okay, let's just, let's just debunk that myth nigga right here, okay? Before we go any further, just know that I'm fucking beautiful. I'm not salty that these niggas is prettier than me. I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, when we're 80, will it matter? The, uh, at, right? I mean, I'm just saying, first of all. Second what, of all, I, I don't I don't gay? like this idea that you think that I don't enjoy like I don't like these girls. I wanna I need you to know. I need you to say it when I tell you I don't I don't dislike these girls. I don't. Except the one that told me that she's glad that my best friend killed herself. Yeah, she could burn in a fire. But everybody else, I'm cool with them. I'm fine with them. They're doing their hustle, much like we are doing right now, and you are doing right now. Negative or positive, you still getting some from this. You too, Casey. You know, don't act like you slick. You know that you a giant fucking troll, but in this, when, when your stream is starting to get figured out and you're becoming a little bit of irrelevant, you want to come in here and do this? I get it. I get you. My stream's what? not being- Wait, wait, wait. You're, the not one, you're the one that reached out, dog. What the fuck? Right. No, 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 no. She wrote an article on me. The fuck am I supposed to do? She wrote an article attacking me when she is a big fraud herself. Of course I'm going to say something. Fraud? What? 
She is satirical on her stream. She doesn't actually believe anything that she's saying, Destiny. You know this. Stop it. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Do you, like, go to a, do you, like, go see an actor in she, a film and you call him a fraud? She, and want your she, money uh, back? What I'm saying, what I'm so saying is that Casey it's, is a troll. Casey's a troll, right? It's fair that Leonardo DiCaprio can still make money doing movies when I saw him drown in Titanic. What a fucking fraud, right? No, what I'm saying is that Casey Tron is a troll. That's all I'm asserting. So when you come at me and you're saying like, why did you why did you bring it up because when she writes an article about me i have to figure out casey are you actually offended or are you is this just another troll i watched her on that stream earlier and they introduced her you know what she said hi i'm casey tron i play league at a very high level and and i'm like you and, and i'm sure that after she said that i think she laughed a little bit and i think everybody on the show laughed i think no, that anybody no i was that, watching like, i i was, was no, I, that she was trolling when she said that. Oh, well, well, don't don't out. bring don't bring Asperger's into this. This is rude. I, first of all, second of all, I'm just saying that I watched it and she was trolling in that moment. She was doing what she does best. And again, Whoa, she's a comedical dude, a genius. What she's an think? absolute genius. But I I'm I'm just gonna say like when she came at me like that because Casey and I are seemingly friends. And she didn't address this to me personally. I didn't know if this was an attention cry or she actually was offended. How could you I was not expect- I offended for the people that you called out. Like, I was offended for my friend Nicole Slaw. Like, how do you make a video like that and not expect some kind of response, right? Because the video is pretty damning. I expected and a response! I ex why are you I surprised that she wrote one? I'm su no, 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 no. I expected a response. I knew that I was going to get a response. Any man, look, like I said, oh 31 God. death threats, 26 people think that I'm a rapist. I knew that I was going to get a response, okay? And what I didn't know is that I did not think that Casey Tron would actually respond in this way, only because the shtick of her stream is to argue into absurdity female gamers as they are. That is her whole shtick. And so for her to actually respond seriously, Whoa, I'll admit, dude, a subscriber. that got me left field. I don't I think I'm, I mean, I don't think I'm making fun of female streamers. Like I'm not going and making fun of Nicole Slaw. I'm making fun of the stereotype that people give female streamers. Right. No, that, that's absolutely right. That's why in that satire, when I have told you time and time again how much of a genius you are, in that satire, that's all I'm talking about. I did not know that you actually felt this way, which is why well, I wanted to talk to you. But Casey Tron, <sighs> um, a stereotype isn't just given. To, to people, a stereotype is built on what people see, and that's the exact problem here on oh. Twitch. If you don't like the stereotype, it's created by some of these girls, which Sky <laughs> is complaining about. And I never if said you that I didn't think, like the stereotype. I don't think that it's portrayed. Up now, or is it celebrity? No, you're, no, it was just me that time. Oh wow. Um, like I, I understand what you're saying. I just, I feel like. For you to back to the original point, which is yeah. I think we got derailed super hard. Um, I just think that for you to say that it's you know the complete. On. Do you actually do you believe that it's the complete blame of the men in this situation? No, I don't think, I don't think there's anybody to blame. Because no, like, think no one's getting hurt. No one's getting harmed. It's see, a, I, don't, it's a, I don't believe I, that. I, how can you say no one's getting harmed? There's a lot of people that work very very hard to either get really skilled or make the game entertaining in some way and those people are, are losing on their spotlight. No, they're not losing because they're fucking boring and their streams suck. That's the harsh reality of it. If you don't get any fucking what? viewers on your stream, then you either need... No, but I'm not saying they're not okay, Wait, why are, how are you being so fucking heartless hey, right like, now? What? I, I said they take it's the spots. Like, so for example, if in the fifth place is now a girl with boobs, before there would be a guy there or a girl, whoever, being with skills or being funny. That's, that's so fucking fake. That's not even close to fucking true. Do you Why stream? You there are other streamers in here, right? Wait, no, because do you stream? That's... This is Civ H fucking D, my nigga. What? No, no my no, point crazy. is, you, what you said is, hey, your stream sucks no, no. if it gets... No, 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 no. no about is someone. It? My point is <sighs> that oh my. a girl, for example, has 2,000 booby views, yeah? And imagine okay. that stream will take over at some point someone's uh, random stream of 2,000 views, no. yeah? That I think stream doesn't suck, it just has 2,000 views. Suggesting... No, he didn't it's say so that Sir Chez's stream sucks. Yeah. 
Literally, I have more experience streaming than either of you motherfuckers, okay? You started out in League, yeah. I started in StarCraft. What you're saying is so fucking wrong. If there is a girl streaming, and she's got fucking 20,000 viewers on her stream, because she's got fucking boobs or whatever, and I'm streaming with 3,000 people, if she didn't yeah. exist, the idea that I would magically have 20,000 viewers is so yeah. fucking retarded. Wait, that, like, Destiny, well, you like, have, you're, how? You're absolutely right hold on, hold on, hold on. That's how advice, absolutely yeah. dare you to be so fucking pretentious and obtuse that you just want to throw around your experience just because you can because you're older or whatever? My nigga, that in this case, we are League of Legends streamers, you're a StarCraft streamer. We have different communities, but don't come around here flexing your goddamn history because you think right, it's okay, gonna get you fine, anywhere. That's fine. Okay, that's fine, but then you can't say things that are just factually fucking wrong. You it's can't so use another stream and it's not. Use. When Casey Tron gets the top, when K Casey Tron used to hit top of the league almost every single time. Like he always or she always hit number one on league so on um on league twitch no, consistently. I mean that was that was that like, was long ago. Certain that, that was with certain things that were happening too. Like obviously I was getting a little bit more attention because I was controversial and I was able to hold my viewers because I'm a good streamer, not because I have tits. Yeah, but Casey Tron, um once again I think you're an example of someone who is funny, yeah? And yeah. we are complaining about the people yeah. who are getting views purely for the boobs, and then it takes over that someone's That doesn't stream exist. People don't value. get views purely it for happen. boobs. Does it happen yes, with they are. Are. They're, like, they're consistently around like 500 to 2,000. And there's some like, streams there that worked very hard to get there. Yeah, some streams actually work, and other people just have breasts. There are all of these streamers with boobs that get thousands of viewers, and that's all they have are boobs. You use yes. Casey as an example, but her stream is legitimately entertaining. Yes. No, he was I'm saying that I was saying. an exception. He said that I yeah. was an exception. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, a, a huge exception, because Casey's, again, really fucking funny. Yeah, but that's the point. I can go through right now and I can look at the League of Legends streams. Here's a girl called Hirona who's sitting at 76 viewers. She's got, like, okay tips on stream. Here's another one, fucking Trey or whatever, with 100 viewers. There are so many girls that stream with, with, with decent cleavage on stream that aren't getting 50 million fucking viewers. So there's, like, you're creating this fantasy world where all of these entitled streamers who have a bad schedule, who aren't funny, who stream in shitty quality, who are bad players, somehow magically think that, oh, man, if all of these cleavage camp streamers would disappear i would get the five thousand viewers dude wait a minute wait a minute dude, why are you targeting no one ever said that wait, yeah no one ever said that and why are you targeting top streamers we okay the people that are watching this stream right now i don't know how many there are on there but i can guarantee right now many of their streams would be lucky to get 10 viewers i'm not saying that to be arrogant i'm just saying we can't keep talking about the upper echelon of streamers because that's not where i was going i lower tier streamers then it's even more irrelevant if you're only getting 15 viewers do you no really think talking about those guys, dude? Yeah, that's exactly who you were talking about. You said, what if a 2,000 no. viewer booby streamer overcomes a 1,500 viewer streamer? Like, that guy is just magically yeah. losing all of his loyal viewers to fucking tits. Because, because, because no, yeah, horniness that. does that to you. Spotlight in, like, the, the top oh. five streams. Like, people look at the ranking of streamers right now. Yeah, that's why, that's why when you're, like, ranked 100 on Twitch, you're not going to get viewers. Because people consistently look at the ranking, yeah? So when yeah. booby streams take over the ranking and get higher, they take over slots and push other streams down, you know, and, and these could but be girls or guys who are not doing that. That's very, very, very rare. That's like a one-time thing. Remember when no, Nicole first started streaming? I think she had like 12,000 viewers or something crazy, like the first day she did it. But then after that, it was just a boob stream oh. and people realized it and it was boring and they stopped Sorry. tuning in. There, you, you make it sound like that every single day there are all of these cleavage streamers that are just rising to the top, taking up those top slots and eating those viewers. When they, when they, in reality, that happens like once a month, once bi-monthly. Like, this is like such a rare occurrence that I, I can't even believe that you're seriously offering it as like a problem. It's not. Not to mention the fact that I think it was Sky that just said that, oh, well, we're talking about the lower streamers and not the upper ones, in which case this doesn't affect them at all anyway. I'm saying that the streamers get five, like what Shiv was saying, 500 to 2,000 views are the, with, you know, with their breasts and, and they have their Amazon wish list and they do all that shit. I just, I feel like that is not healthy. That is all, that's literally my claim. I feel like these impressionable young boys are beaten off some niggas on stream and I feel like it just sucks. It just sucks for girls that don't do that because that's the expect that that's what we see on the front page of Twitch and I and it's no one's like 
It's they're you not literally sluts. Don't see that on the front page. It doesn't it. happen on the front page. On the front, like I have never been. Wait a minute, time out. Let me, let me. No, no, sorry, sorry. The front page of, of the League of Legends streaming. Okay. Thing. My bad, my bad. The the front page of the League of Legends streaming thing. You know how it shows like four rows of five or some shit. Yeah. Probably like the last two rows, typically are four girls with their cameras, eighty percent big, and then two percent gameplay or whatever, tits out and stuff. And I'm just like, hey. That's fine. You're not going to infringe on my success because my audience is different. That's okay. I still think you're a dick. That's it. That is, that's my uh, opinion. Yeah, but like uh, that argument there, you're acting like they're taking away viewers from like other streamers. If that's true, no, it's to such a small extent that it's irrelevant. Like, And no, there's like two reasons. Like before you said there are no losers. And I think there's two reasons there's losers. First of all, the top light, the, 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 the you know, the, the, getting spotlighted in those top 10, that matters. And the second reason is that because these streams exist and people find these streams, a certain, like everyone starts hating on girls on Twitch, you know, that's like, that's how, how crowds react, they start hating on them. So if I was a girl who wants to be a streamer, I'm actually funny and stuff, I would get a lot of shit against me for no real reason. And, 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 and Siv, I'd like okay, to okay. backpack off of that because that actually, that is the fault of the male as well, but mostly the male. See, the males, the, 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 the kids that don't understand how to treat women correctly, that's, you know, that's on them. Okay, that is definitely on them, and I totally understand that. Yes, absolutely. I just feel Whoa, like the dude, girls, a when what a guy mean? comes into your stream and calls you a slut, some of these girls see that as, okay, I'll take the fact that they're calling me a slut, but I get to run this commercial, and that's one extra viewer. They garner that attention, and they allow it to happen. They allow their Twitch chat to go crazy, calling them sluts. And then, why is that be Why is that a benevolent act for the community of gamers that we're trying, that we're, we're making impressions on? Why is that good? Why is that okay? That's that, not okay. That's so loaded. So what, are you saying that, like, streamers need to be parents to their audience? Should you ban every person that says anything bad ever? <coughs> If you start polling your audience, do you think the minimum wage is ethical? And if they say no, what is your slippery you slope fallacy ass doing right like, now? No, <laughs> because that's exactly what this is. Like, I'm a fucking streamer. If somebody comes into my stream and calls me a faggot. Am I supposed to ban that person because I need to create better people? Where the fu I don't I don't get a fucking check cut from the United States government because I'm ha helping to educate the children across yeah, the United States. Yeah, you're right. States. You don't have a responsibility to help raise these kids. I'm neither like I don't either, and neither do the girls. But what I'm saying is, if somebody's in my chat. And they just keep saying, I hate black people, burn the nigger, all over and over and over again. I'm probably eventually going to ban them. Why? Because that's just not something to say. That's not something that's good. You are on screen. When you are on screen, you are on stage, you are a representative of you. And if you want to be represented by someone that says it's okay to be called a slut and a whore openly without saying anything about it, you're advocating those words to be said. No, yes. you, can't, you can't make that jump. Why? Somebody in um, chat comes in and trolls me and all oh, of a sudden I'm uh, advocating. Total, total, total biscuit okay. bear. No, 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 no. If someone comes in and says one thing to you, no then yeah, you're not advocating it. I get called all these names all the time. But if you continuously let it happen just over and over without saying anything, and you're just soaking up that attention, then you think that that's just okay? That's not okay. That's, that's not okay. I do, and I think it's okay. I'm okay with it. I'm doing it in a controlled environment that I can pull the plug on any fucking time I but want. But you don't, there Casey, wrong because, when everyone, but because when everyone calls you a fat slut or whatever it is, you don't. You eat it up. You encourage it. You say, "Could you please stop?" And as we know, Isn't this when exactly you, what you said you did earlier, you calling yourself gay and black. You said hold that on, you used it hold as a on. fucking shield. You literally just said these. But wait words. a minute. But wait a minute. Okay, you know that Casey's not using it as a shield. She's a troll. You know that. Hey, of course she uses it as a shield I, to some so extent. Yeah, oh, uh, so you're taking shield. so you're taking me, me what say, I do, saying, and now yeah, you're using it for yourself. Say, That's yeah, clever. That's clever. Uh, That's, I'll, I'll, I'll give that to you. That's clever. I don't think it's the it's responsibility of a streamer it. to educate people. Oh, total biscuits here, guys. Is. Yeah, hi. Oh um, biscuit bear. Money. Yeah, hi. It doesn't seem a tad slightly unreasonable, and I think like if you're going to talk about fallacies, you've got to also talk about correlation equaling causation. The idea that oh, I'll you let some one say a terrible word in the chat ergo you're kind of propagating that the counter argument to that would be that the more that you react to that the more likely people are to see it as a potential chink in your armor and actually use it against you 
the notion that you know trolls are looking for a reaction and Whoa, if you give dude, them one a subscriber. then you know, even if it's a ban you know a ban is a challenge to some people it's the sort of thing that and someone will make accounts for days just to get past and that's I and that's something that i kind of disagree with because when i get trolled in my chat like my mods will do it like for example there's a lot of people that'll say things and i read the chat almost frequently i always read it and so when i see it it's just whatever i will silently very silently ban them and they will get buried if they make another account i will ban them but the second that i say hey can you not call me this it's over that that's that's done it's it's completely done and that's when everybody spams it it I happens in playing an audience that's what entertainers do <laughs> Yeah, oh, no. Like it's, it's, it's it's also it also really it depends on what kind of community that you happen to have uh, created in the first place and what sort of audience you happen to have on that particular day. You know, you you're gonna have days where you can ban a bunch of people without a problem. Then you're gonna have days where you ban one person and the Nazi mod spam begins, and you've kind of got to judge your audience based on that. I I, I don't think it's fair to necessarily uh, to blame a streamer for for not going out of their way to ban certain things, Whoa, especially dude, if you believe subscriber. that you the, the best way to deal with an issue when it comes to a free speech society is to allow people to call them the idiots that they are, you know, let their idiocy show for what it is and let your community actually speak up against it. And if you've made, if you've created a good community, then you're going to have one that's going to say, hey, cut that shit out, you know, it's not acceptable here. And generally speaking, peer pressure shaming is one of the most effective ways of stopping that behavior, as opposed to authoritarianism, which tends to create this sort of rebellious streak. I mean, if you're talking about teenagers in particular, like the first thing that's going to happen when you ban some teenage little fuckwit is they're going to come right back around with a new account because they think they're sticking it to the fucking man. And they're going to do it for hours because they got nothing better to do with their sorry little lives other than masturbate. So, you know, which you might as well give it a bash. Important. But, uh, you're like everyone's dad, TV. Ugh. Sorry, oh god, I'm 30 years old. I'm over the fucking hill now. I don't even know why I stream. I just, I'm just gonna go to the fucking retirement home right now. How are you gonna come in here? Like, hey, How are you gonna come in here smart money. as fuck? Give a concise, calm argument. We're yelling at each other, TV. The fuck is wrong with you? Whoa, dude, a subscriber. Uh, I don't know. What you could bring Thorin in here if you want to make it. Oh easy. no, thank you. I don't think Thor Thorin he called, from Skype. He'll never come on to anything called, with me again. He called Wild Turtle a retard. He is. He's Viva not la good Poland. In my book. Mm -mm. He he blames. Did you see that article he wrote? He blamed me for that. He said that I baited him into the Poland argument. Of course, okay. of course. Anyway, yeah, 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 total absolutely. biscuit, total biscuit. I have, I have a question for you then. Yeah, sure. So then maybe you can help me understand because, like I said in the beginning of this conversation, the beginning of my of my video, I'm totally open to being wrong. I just really want to believe it. Okay. My message for my video was as follows: You're not a slut for wearing those clothes. You're not. No. You're not a. You're not a whore. And in fact, you don't deserve to be called that. If guys do it, Whoa, they dude, are at fault. And they, they're gay? responsible, and that's great. Okay, that they, they give them responsibility. Cool, perfect. What I'm saying is, when you purposefully go out of your way to take advantage of thirsty, horny kids to give you money or Amazon gifts on your fucking profile or filling out a boyfriend application for five dollars, when you do these things. You're not a slut, but you are a douche. That's my point. All right, well, you can also make the argument that there's a market there, and if you're not exploiting that market, if you're not actually catering to that market, then you're just leaving money on the table for no really good reason. And somebody else uh, it, will come and exploit it. Someone, someone else is going to go do it anyway, you know, so it might as well be you, and perhaps you can be a bit more ethical about it. Don't get me wrong, like, I, I agree with the point that if you, if you get too close to your audience, there's the potential that some vulnerable people are going to get damaged that way. You know, I try to avoid that as best I can. Whoa, dude, you know, I want to I want to treat my audience as like, look, you come to watch my content. I give you my content. You hopefully give me an ad view in return. And that's okay. kind of as far as our relationship goes. But ultimately, not every stream works that way. And right. a lot of what uh, Twitch works on is, is very personality driven, very persona driven. And there's obviously a market, although not a particularly big one, as I think uh, Casey accurately pointed out earlier. There's like there's actually very few females. Whoa streamers Dude, that ever get to a reasonable a viewer count you know if you're talking about the 400 500 viewer range like that's so like statistically insignificant i rarely see a female streamer go over 3k i think hafu is really the only one that regularly does casey Hafu i imagine casey. does a bit too yeah they're pre pretty much the only two uh that i've ever seen that have really done that oh and they can God. do that on a regular you basis uh, but ultimately there are people that want to watch girls in low cut tops playing and giggling along with league of legends and kind of pandering to their chat that market exists that market's not going to be fulfilled by uh, say a male streamer 
And I think like the <laughs> argument that you made that like someone's losing viewers is very similar to the whole piracy lost sale argument because you can't prove that guy would have ever like bought the movie or the video game in the first place. So it it could be the case, but it's very hard to prove statistically. And I I don't think that. I think the biggest problem that the people had with your video, and I kind of agree with them on this, and you've got to bear in mind, of course, that your video is open to interpretation to some degree, is that uh, you you almost like put the responsibility on every female streamer to be a representative of their gender, which is a little bit unfair because we never ask males to be a representative of our gender on Twitch. Like, it, it's the same reason why I try and avoid asking Dodger on our podcast like gender. Uh, fuel questions because it's like she's not the representative of females like she's not the president of women like I shouldn't be asking her questions like that uh, as much as I shouldn't be asking a twitch streamer to to say hey you know you you cover up now or whatever because you might compromise the future of female streaming I think you know if, if female streaming is strong enough to actually be a viable business, then it should be able to get past all of that without too much of a problem. And if it's not strong enough to be a viable business, then it'll collapse on its own accord because that's what the free market says. But wait, you, you said that you said there's a demand for something. And so you are they're taking advantage of the demand and that's just sure. what they're doing, right? Mm -hmm. But since when does since when does money or a demand for something make something benevolent? I don't think I don't see the correlation there. What, yeah, why do you have, uh, why do you have to be benevolent? What's the, what's I, the I, I would, wait, 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 but that, that's it to be benevolent. That's it. That's my point. Yeah, but to, you to don't have to it, um, just because there's a market for it doesn't mean it should be there and that Twitch shouldn't do anything about it. Yeah. For example, if I on stream play piano with my dick, I would get a lot of views, man. Yes, there's a you big would. Market for that. I would well, get a lot of I, I, would, I would retweet that shit. Now you're making the terms like, of service well, argument. Dude, you know, a subscriber. Which, which, I think like, I'm not arguing with the terms of service. Like, they're, they're, they're there, they're there for a good reason, which is why we don't get girls in bikini streaming. Um, I personally think that girls should be able to stream in a bikini, and men should be able to stream in a bikini, and whatever the hell they yes. want. Like, I think that uh, Twitch is too fucking PG-13, and this neo-puritanism bullshit of like, oh, better cover up that shoulder, cause the devil's fucking lust is in me. Oh, Marjorie, me britches! You know, come on, really? No, it's but at the, the same 1800s. time, Biscuit, also, I'll, I'll, I'll do the same thing. Come on, Total Biscuit, what are we doing? We're playing video games, nigga. When I used to be 13, I would literally sit there, play Tony Hawk Pro Skater, beat my dick, and then play again. I'm horny. Everybody's horny when they're young, okay? So, yep. we, we're, we're, of course, I think PG-13 streams would not be the worst thing because at the very least, we could focus on the gameplay instead of having 3,000 viewers with no one typing because everyone's jacking but up. That, you know, what, no one wants that. No, Except for maybe Civ. No one else in the Skype call would benefit from that. You... And me and Casey Tron and Total I'm Biscuit to some extent. We'll be video fucking, games. Yeah, all of our careers would be nothing if only people wanted to focus on the gameplay. It's like, uh, new media in particular, when it comes to gaming, is very personality driven. It's the same reason why gaming media in its traditional form is currently in a process of dying off and is being basically replaced by YouTube and Twitch. Uh, because it's, I, you know, I'm very game, gameplay focused in the sense that I don't have a fucking webcam, I don't have an overlay, I just show the game. But ultimately, I also know that the reason people tune in is to hear what I have to say, and that's often got nothing to do with the game whatsoever. It might be, I might be rampaging about some TV show or movie or whatever. People will still watch it. The gameplay kind of takes a back seat. And I think that every stream has a certain Shit. ratio of personality Sorry. to gameplay, you know? And I, I don't think it's like up to anyone to dictate what that is, because there's always going to be a market for like, if you want a pure gameplay focused stream, go watch a pro gamer there's a big market for it. If you want a personality driven stream, you're probably going to watch like Soda Pop and you're going to watch Lyric, you know, who who are multi-game streamers that are not particularly good at any of the games they play, but Ooh, they're pulling in 40k shots. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's true. No, I know, true. I know, I know, they'll, I know. They'll, I know. they'll, they'll, they'll I know, all know. say that, you know? And, and I mean, for, for your stream as well, you know, I mean, you're, you're not incredible at League. Uh, what? Say, oh, come on. You know, what? You know, incredible We all saw League. that game. We all saw that defeat. You know, before we, uh, I, I don't know how, because, you know, it's a very casual Whoa, game, you know, you might want to try to at some point, but what? regardless of that... Uh, oh, oh, no. <laughs> regardless of that, though, uh, people tune in for mostly for your personality, <sighs> and you, if you can tie your personality in with the game, that's great, but, like, I've watched a lot of your most popular videos with, um, what's-his-face, uh, Dunkey, uh -huh. and almost nothing that's actually said in any of those videos has anything to do with the game whatsoever. Like, and I think that that demonstrates quite aptly that the gameplay actually 
in a lot of your videos actually does take a back seat, and that's a totally viable business model. I don't see why that shouldn't also be okay on Twitch. Uh, but but what am I well, what am I taking advantage of when I do that? I'm taking advantage yeah, of I'm, like the fact that it's funny, but no what, one is taking advantage of anything. That, no that one is being taken advantage isn't... of. Wait, These what? Are consens These are consensual you, you, transactions. You are, no you one are is taking advantage to an audience. Of... That's not taking advantage of people. Yeah, what the fuck? It, now, if somebody was like holding a gun to the kid's head, like forcing him to like donate to a stream, then sure. But nobody's right, Destiny, taking Destiny, advantage Destiny, of anybody. Destiny, Destiny, you at a ten. Let's bring it down to a four. We're bringing down to total Bisco's level. No need to raise our voices. He, he... No, don't do that. People will fall asleep. <laughs> I'm All right, I I'm... think that no one is taking advantage of anybody. But in see, I, I guess, I guess, I just, uh, I, I just disagree with that. I just, I just feel like, yeah, in 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 my gameplay videos where I'm just making jokes and lots of editing, I'm maybe taking advantage of the fact that people have short attention spans and they like flashing yes. lights and funny jokes, okay? They do. They're, they're like uh, things popping up on the screen, you know? It's a particular yeah. style of humor, and it's got very right. little to do with the actual gameplay. Like, right. most of the gameplay I watch in those videos has no relevance to anything you're saying, which is totally fine. Like, and that's absolutely fine. And I frankly don't see the problem with a uh, pretty girl being pretty on stream. And, okay, if 12 or 13-year-olds... and I, uh, Destiny's point that he made earlier was kind of... Or was it? I'm not sure if it was Destiny or Civ that made this point. It was like one of the two of you. It was kind of valid in that, yeah, a lot of teenagers don't have access to porn sites. You know, they get, <coughs> they get blocked. It. You know, they got no, blocked. No, wait, I, I said that in the video. Yeah, they don't have access to porn sites. You know, but they wanna they wanna look and maybe talk to a pretty girl. Maybe they're kind of socially introverted, and the, this is the only interaction they get with the opposite sex. You know, and I mean that seems kind of sad, but ultimately it's like it's part of their development, like anything else. You've you you just kind of gotta grow past that point. And hold on, hold on, wait a minute. You you just you, you keep saying that you feel like there's nothing like there's nothing wrong with with the girls doing this and. I, I, I have to assert this again. Look, I'm not saying that they're doing something intrinsically wrong. That is not what I'm saying. Um, I you're just saying I, it makes them bad. You're like no, you're I'm like no, I'm not. You're saying that it people. makes them assholes. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I think that it's like mean. Not I, right. I, I, you didn't no, say it was I, bad douchebags. Yeah, I, I, well, yeah, I think that it's mean. But I respect their hustle. I definitely think that they're making this money. They're playing the game. We are all playing the game right now. Total biscuit. This nigga never talks to me. He's talking to me now because he's playing the game. That's what I'm saying. What do you mean I never talk to you? We talk on Twitter all the time. Oh yeah, once a month. Oh yeah. Yeah, a solid once a month, and when I hit you up on Skype and say oh. I need help, suddenly you're busy. Anyway, my point is Bullshit. that my I point so is much free advice, you my point is that you need to understand that I'm not saying that what these girls are doing are a bad idea or they should be called sluts or whores. I need to reiterate when I say that I just think that them taking advantage of these kids, these horny kids, is just not okay. That's it. I, I don't think it's cool. I think it sucks. And I, and I feel bad for them. I feel bad I because think, um, some of them really feel like they're going to get the pussy. Some of them really you genuinely really think the people that go to those streams honestly think they have a chance of having sex with the girls. Hell yeah! I, one of the girl streamers that used to do this, she showed me her inbox, bruh. They paid, like, and, and this was before I felt so passionately about it. But I read some of these messages. These niggas trying to get their address, take them out, really, like, just really low context. It happens you to me to all fuck. the time, but I never respond to them. Sure. Did, actu did she actually respond to them? Yeah. Yeah, she responded okay. to them. You know why? Because if you I, responded, I, I will to agree that that's pushing it too far. Yeah, but and, and I also don't and think that that's few and far between. Yeah, that's yeah, few and far between. between. And People that was the point of my goddamn that. video, Biscuit Bear. Listen. Yes, but your you video talked about the idea that you have to be an example for other women and that you're pulling other women down by engaging in certain kinds of behavior. Uh, but if you're gonna make a video like that and you're aiming it at literally five people and it gets 350,000 views, then some people are going to make the assumption that you are maybe targeting a slightly larger group of people than you originally intended. And right? there, that's absolutely fine. But if you watch the first 30 seconds of my video, I low context say, this is not to every girl streamer. This is one sure. with pussy cam, ass cam, tit cam, and upper uh, upper left eyebrow cam. Okay. Um, now, obviously, yeah, that's but, a hyperbole. I mean, but what well, I'm, of course, hyperbole. But, but that's but, the problem. But, but it's you know, a, it's, but a, lot it's of the a video was a joke. That's it, the point. It's right? a hyperbole to overemphasize the fact that these girls that are really manipulative deserve to have action done. And yes, you know what? There aren't that many girls. I probably in the history of Twitch, there might be seven. There might be, but those seven people hey. have enough pull and power to make all these other girls feel like shit. And whose fault is that? Do they? 
Yes! That's because the girl's that's fault. That's the girl's problem, dog. Like, you can't honestly say... Or I'm sorry, let me lower my voice. You can't honestly try to approach streaming, <coughs> see that you're not as good at one aspect as somebody else, and then blame that person for being good at it. My voice will never be as broadcaster-friendly as Total Biscuits. Wait, remember... I'm not gonna demand that everybody stream with a fucking oh, voice filter to level the playing field. But remember when you said... Remember when you said at the beginning of this whole thing, that's reality and it sucks? It is. Yes! That is all I'm saying. It fucking sucks. And I'm not telling the girls to change. I'm just saying, hey, I want you to know that even though it sucks, it fucking blows. You're doing, like, this is, this is, it's really, conf it's really confusing to figure this out because you're doing, like, that thing that, like, a girlfriend will do in a relationship sometimes where you're like, hey, I really want to go hang out with my friends, but, uh, like, Katie's gonna be there and, like, we did some stuff in the past past so i don't know if that's okay with you and the girl's like you know what if you want to go you know that's fine but i'm not going to be happy with it and you're like well wait so what do, should i go well no no if you want to go yeah like i'm cool with it but but i mean not really i'm not going to be happy with it but yeah you can go like it's kind of hard to figure out like what the fuck exactly you're saying but, but i say it in my video twice i i but say you, you say you say that it's okay if they do it but then you say but i think they're all assholes and douchebags like that's kind of you see how that's kind of confusing yeah dude, well you know no, it's it's really not that confusing my opinion is that these girls that i'm yeah go on Siv. get them um i i think this is going anywhere i i think i can bring it down to a very simple core right, which you is you guys ready. said hey there's a market for guys who just want to see a cute girl and that's entirely possible without showing 90% of your boobs, you know, like uh, those guys will just see the cutest girl they can fucking find and I think yeah, well you said there's nothing wrong with that because there's a market for it. I think there is something wrong with it because um, the problem is the, mar the market's fine like if a guy wants to see a really cute girl, you're gonna find one anyway, but if you stream with 90% of your boobs out, you're contributing to the problem which is that on Twitch girls do get a very consistent amount of bullshit. I trained one myself, I trained KP, and she, 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 she's not showing anything, she's being absolutely delightful, and she is very consistently editing her videos well. But even her, who did absolutely nothing, you know, different from me as a guy or anyone, she was getting a lot of, a lot of, a lot of shit in a very consistent manner, where it's not simply, oh, you shouldn't look at your messages. And it's I think not... you shouldn't justify that that stereotype is being caused by all these girls with, oh yeah, there's a market for it. Even though you could simply cater with it I... by just what sitting there saying, being a girl so, and cute. What you're saying is so absolutely unfair to like all girls. Like that's such an unfair statement that you have to dress a certain way because if you don't, like you're essentially making no, no, someone... No, I'm not saying you have to dress a certain way. <laughs> yes, it's, you it's, are. It's, you're it's, saying that well, if okay, you okay. Dress... Wait, I did, I did. I want to correct myself a little bit here. I, I don't even think it's a very, very big problem if you have, you know, cleavage or something, but if you angle your camera on it, you make it the subject of the stream, like, the, the, well, the, the, you're, you're going a bit far then. I think uh, a lot of you know, much go unnecessarily okay, far. Specifically? I mean, do we want 65 cents, 70 percent? Okay. I mean, what? I, I got, I got to, I got to just say, no, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I got I to I gotta get this out, I got to get this out. And this is, this might, I, I don't know, anyway, uh, my biggest annoyance is, don't you guys see that when a porn star goes from gobbling dick to streaming on Twitch, there's a problem. At the end of there's the day, she realized- like, Isn't there only like <laughs> two people would have ever done that though? No, 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 but like what I'm saying is these girls that have like cameras, like I get yelled at if my camera can like covers up my mini map a little bit, these girls get away with like 80% camera. What, aren't there okay. sites for this? Okay. Okay, they have shitty production. I mean, that's definitely a problem. They should probably get a better overlay. But I mean, I, 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 again, I, I wait, just wait. But aren't there other aren't there other cameras? sites aren't there other sites for this? Why don't why can't they go because on because, they because, because this one's camera, bigger? They go to because a right, right. Because this one makes the money. Right. This one's bigger. This is where the Whoa, money is. Dude, Am I, is that right? What are you? So yeah, but there's like nothing some holy that. synagogue where women shouldn't be able to like be in full cameras, like. Women can do whatever they want. Casey, stop trying to p pigeonhole me into this thing where I'm saying that I think women should be restrictive. I don't give a fuck what women do. Okay, anytime we say that, what we really mean to say is, no, should but, women do this so that you don't right, view them as an be, asshole or a Be, uh, that's be specific we're... because when you say those things, people in the chat are just going to be like, oh, okay, Sky hates all girls. I don't give a fuck. Like, do whatever you want. I have my I own opinion and I put it on YouTube where opinions of anyone can go. That's it.
Yeah, that is definitely it. also invites a lot of replies. And that's you know, fine. Is, and it, I was expecting and you're gonna, all you're of gonna those benefit. Replies. Yeah, you're going to benefit a lot from it as well. This is going to be one of your most highest rated videos for the last few months, I imagine, because it, you know, it, it was a controversy generator. Uh, Whoa, dude, I, again, I think like some what of the stuff you gay? said is very valid. Like the, the whole inbox thing. That was well, that would have been a really, really good point to bring up, and actually like a point that probably should have been covered in in great detail or about leading people on too far about because that's that's an issue of exploitation of vulnerable people which i think is a very good point to make and what but about also, the girl as you that mentioned, said most people don't do it well right most people don't my video wasn't to most girls my video was directed towards that now that's one that we talked about right the one that would respond to the emails and try to get like you know a little illicit reaction out of them and then eventually like probably get more shit out of them i mean shit i'm gonna be honest with you if i'm horny and, and, and someone's hot I and mean, that's the easy way to get shit from me. If you are a hot bear, straight or gay, you email me right the fuck now. Say I'm hot, nigga. Whoa, I'll buy you a car. That's just like gay. that is what sometimes when people do. Oh, if you have another car. Shut the hell up. You are married. <laughs> okay. And you know that's that I like you. you before you. Okay. Me. True. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. Back on topic. <laughs> what about the girl that messaged me and said? Because I still make tons of donations at the end of the day, and she's talking to me when she says this, you're still one of the fat creeps who come on my screens to their photos. No wonder your best friend killed himself. I would too if I had friends like you. Girls like that exist. They might no, be that's doing... just an individual, dog. Wait, but I gave you two examples of girls that take advantage <laughs> of people. <laughs> No, what I'm the not, fuck? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. That a 350,000 view video justifies two examples. That that might be a little excessive. No, 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 no. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, this is a hard Whoa, thing for dude, us to do because I what can't go doing? out, and this is almost like an unprovable thing. Like, we can't go to each one of these streams and make these girls prove that they're doing this, right? That's impossible. Whoa, All I'm dude, saying is, in what my video, I wanted to bring attention to the fact that they exist. It is alive, and it's real. And girls can do whatever they want. But to that girl that said that my that she's glad that my friend killed herself, and to the other girl that responded to emails to try to get more money, they are both assholes. Can yeah. are you gonna deny did, that or not? Well, no. What, but wait, did you just, did you mention either of those people in the video? Did I, you describe I, their actions? I can't. I can't. I, I'm not releasing any names of the, of the video, even though they're probably. Well, I'm not asking for names. I'm asking you what money. you just told me, like the actions of them. That the, would have been good to bring up. That, I mean, because that would have made your point, I think, a little better. Because again, like, I the agree. most people have with your video is that it just seemed a little bit too general. Like, it seemed like it was applying to too many people. No, I agree. My video, my video has, has a myriad of flaws. And if I can go back, I'd make it two minutes longer and explain that guys are just as much to blame as these, like... Well, there's your follow-up video if you want another 300k. No, I don't want a follow-up video because that leaves me more rooms for mistakes. Like, oh, I, I don't... don't please. No, 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 I'm being honest, because what, what I'm afraid of is, like... Two girls, this is, like, so... It's so irrelevant to everything. Oh Why is it irrelevant to everything, money. Destiny? Because two girls, like, made fun of you in a video? Like, this is, like, me criticizing you because I was robbed by two black guys in college. Like, how how is this even, like, how are these what are girls... These, what are these comparisons? Wait, Tom, hold on. I, I, I didn't say those two girls oh, whoa, made dude, fun of me. And you're you trying to say that they're, like, representative of, like, women streamers. Like, these girls do this, and what about the two girls that messaged me? Like No, they're, they're... I'm, just, I'm just saying that out of the big pool of female streamers, in this case, there were these two. Yeah, there's just two. But I'm saying there might be, in my heart, I feel like there are more doing these manipulative things, and that was a vague video to let those, everyone know that I'm man, aware and it should stop. Whoa, dude! But that's that's it was what vague, that's the problem. Like, that's really the only problem a lot of people have with it. They, I mean, they, if, they, they thought it applied to them, like, that's what the Drop Frames girls were talking about. Like, they, they really thought that it was applying to way more female streamers than you intended, and I think I think if you just clarify that, then uh, frankly, but I did, but I did in, I did in every avenue. I did on Reddit, on Twitter, and even on my video, I cleared it up. And then in the, what, what I don't get is the message. In the, the first part of the message was was really abundantly clear, at least to me, where I said, if you are a streamer and your gameplay is is the focus, you don't have your camera, and ninety percent this isn't to Whoa, you. Dude, the girls that I watched today on that show, <laughs> Sans Caseytron, are pretty much like. That's them. I've, I've, I went to their streams, and they're not like they're not taking advantage. They're not. They don't have their Amazon wish list. Like that's not them. And that's all I'm saying. But Doodle Biscuit, you you had some very good points, and um, one of your good points was why why would you make these girl why would you why would these girls have to be an example for other women? Uh, you know, you don't tell that to other guys, and that's a good point. But I think. Like when I look at the top five uh, guy streamers at any point in league, 
they, they will just be pro gamers, they will be guys who are either really funny, they, that's the reasons they're getting viewers. And if I look at the top five girl streamers in League of Legends at any point, there's a very big chance one, two, maybe even three of them are showing a Whoa, lot of dude, boob a in a way that it's a focused on the camera and in a way that it's obvious that most of their views are there for that. And I know that, you know, they might only have 500 to 3,000 viewers because, you know, girls tend not to have that many viewers, but it does have two, it does create two things, which is it sets a bit of a weird example for other girls and, you know, it makes other you're, girls get a lot of shit for it. And do, do you asking, think that's like okay? You're asking a minority to be a representative of their entire race when you say that. Like, that's so fucking offensive. I don't understand how you can't see that. Okay, like, so uh, don't, don't, don't talk about offensive, Destiny, because you just called out Asperger's people earlier. So I'm just saying, like, relax on what you say. It bro. was relevant. It All was right. relevant. But, but, like, that's so, really so, offensive. So, like, so, I mean, I'd like to address uh, Sip's points. Um, the, so the, the, something that Destiny said earlier well, dude, uh, struck me as, as relevant, and that is the idea of playing to your strengths. I Racist think there's a gender. there's this huge problem in that for some reason there are a tiny, tiny number of high level female gamers in literally any game to the point where I have difficulty naming more than about three. Okay. And I, mm -hmm. I look at East, you know, and I watch a lot of Hearthstone, I watch a lot of Counter Strike, Dota, and StarCraft. And there's not that many female stream, uh, female anybody. It's not just streamers. Like the the issue of like of girls not getting to a competitive level is way, 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 way deeper than Twitch streaming. Like it's way beyond that. It was the same problem before Twitch even existed. We had exactly the same problem. We you know with Brood War in Korea. You know, biggest esport of all time. We still had that same problem. There was literally one female pro gamer, and she lost to Idra and cried. Like. <laughs> This this is this, there was there's there is still a huge problem. Why exactly it is that for some reason we don't have high level female players? That is a really complex topic that I think is massively oversimplified and frankly, like put it, it's it's misdirected when uh, you make claims that well because a lot of female streamers are kind of showing boob that they're either putting off other female streamers or anything like that. I actually will argue the opposite. I'll argue this. It shows that some female streamers can be successful on Twitch without being super competitive. And the super competitive barrier is there and is blocking out almost every female on the planet for every video game. For some reason. And we don't know why that is. I, I'm baffled by it. I don't know the science behind it. There's got to be science behind it. Is it, a, is it a social issue? Is it the idea that women are encouraged not to be competitive in that way? Is it a biological issue? You got money. And I think that it's just oversimplification to say that, okay, so that, you know, these girls are basically getting ahead by being pretty. Well, they get ahead by being pretty in other walks of life as well. And that's just kind of the way that the world works. And I don't think that's inherently harmful. I think it's a shame. I'd like oh to see a lot of female gamers be money. on the same level as male pro gamers. That would be great. Uh, but for some reason they aren't. And I don't think it's because some people show boob on Twitch. Well, but that ended suddenly. I mean, you're... You're way too good at this, TB. But um, yeah, you are I, a boss battle. I, <laughs> it's way too good at this. But yeah. don't, uh, I, I don't think it's a problem that they're pretty. Obviously, pretty girls are awesome. Um, but <laughs> you, the, the, just the sole fact: what do you think Twitch should do about that? There's girls who focus their stream around their boobs. <gasps> do you think they should do nothing um, about it? I, I don't think they should do anything about it, with the exception of if they're putting up basically just full screen cam and not gameplay, then they shouldn't be on Twitch, because Twitch is, it's primarily about gameplay, but it's also about gameplay mixed with the persona and the personality of the person that's playing it. And if that, if that part of that persona is being a pretty girl that happens to have, you know, impressive cleavage or whatever, then kind of so be it. And frankly, I don't view looking at cleavage as harmful. Like you know, it's the most PG thirteen thing you can imagine. Like oh, it's they're not great. getting, yeah, I like they're not this. getting, their they're not getting their tits out. You know, it's it's cleavage. It's pleasant to look at. Hell, scientifically, it reduces the risk of prostate cancer and many other mental diseases. So frankly, they're doing us a public health service, but like, which I, I think they should be applauded for. I want to I want to make something like super super clear because I, I just keep hearing it, and I want to make sure that you guys don't think that I feel this way. I am not what, asking, dude, a subscriber? advocating, what are you, or agreeing with. <laughs> censoring like I, I i think that like yeah in my video i say i challenge you to put that pussy away put those tits away whatever yeah that's Whoa, that's, dude, that's a, a subscriber a, a punchline like, <laughs> i don't think that women should have to cover themselves up if a girl is feeling really cute you know 
and she likes compliments and she wants to show off her breast, let her. Let her feel herself. That's great. That's cool. I, I don't I'm not against that at all. Women, I feel like being a girl is hard as fuck. So if she wants to get compliments sure, by some horny nerds, that's great. Great job. But I think that her intent right there is benevolent, and that is why like I'm I'm happy. Like, I'll give her a compliment. Damn, look at them titties. Like I'll post that in chat and then I'll leave. But if there's a girl who is using her body specifically to manipulate people to get money with, without no no benevolent intentions, that's oh why I God. think that they're jerks. That's it. That's that's just I don't and I don't understand. Total biscuit, can you please explain to me why that's so bad? That's all. I, that's all I want. I, wow. it, because ultimately, uh, partner Twitch streaming is a business, and okay. your job is to try and make money from it. Right. I agree with you wholeheartedly that the few women that do lead vulnerable people on to the point where they're emailing for their address, that is over the line. Yes. But I think that I draw the line in a different place that you do. I don't have a problem with girls being pretty on, the, on Me stream. Me neither. Not at even all. Even focusing their camera on their cleavage, if that's what they want to do, and there's an audience for that, then kind of so be it. I don't think it's a sustainable audience, and I think that the stats prove that. Yeah, um, ab absolutely. Casey Tron understood that. She's really so beautiful. I she got big tits, and now she's, like, making a troll of her stream. She understood that boobs don't only equal views. She had to take it a step farther. I get that. And I respect all of the women that do that, because they can do whatever they want with their bodies. My only concern is that where this video came from is I felt... Like, oh God, girls, like I was money. trying to describe earlier, I feel like there exists more than two, obviously. And I was just making a blanket statement saying, look, I really do feel like there's more than just two of you out there. I know what you're trying to do, and I challenge you to just not take advantage of this that's, that I see as, as really harmful. It, it, it's something, it's, it, there's a market for it, but just because there's a market for something like that doesn't mean that it's, like, the right thing to do. Sure, I, mm. I agree with that, right? There's a market for cocaine and hookers, right? It doesn't I was, necessarily. I was make, gonna make sure. that argument too. But like, the, like what? Like this it's is like we're, talking hookers, like, uh, we're talking about like a minority report world where how do we go through a girl's stream and decide whether or not she has benevolent intent with like her cleavage cam versus someone who's being malicious? Like, are we putting together like a council of like wise men to, who are going to determine this like on a stream by stream basis or like? No, and like that's and that's what makes this really hard. You know, is that you you. You have this situation where there is no way to go into a female streamer's stream and prove that, that she is doing this. There's no way. And there's no right way to say, you know, Whoa, I think dude, that you're doing this without Whoa, sounding, um, you know, without like slut shaming. Like a lot of people just say all these mean fucked up things. There really isn't an easy or right way to do this. My video was supposed to be a statement just vaguely saying, and the people that know who they are are gonna watch this and be like, oh, okay, well, uh oh, and all the other Actually, girls that have they come probably are gonna laugh and just get more money out of the people. The, the kind of people that would exploit vulnerable people to the degree that you're <laughs> objecting to are probably not gonna change their ways and uh, go and volunteer for. I mean, I apparently know, Nicole Slaw Slaw decided to put on a sweater. I don't know. Like, I'm not saying that. You know, I like Nicole Slaw, but what I've Maybe been told is so now. <laughs> Maybe well, wouldn't you take the sweater off then? Anyway, what? What? so she said she was cold to take <coughs> off the sweater what? because the nipples poke through the bra. No, she 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 wore a sweater. Did I have to man. go? Did I have to go? Oh, down? Marjorie, me britches. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how that works. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that well, I went over my head. Um. Okay, so that's that's all I really wanted. That video to say i don't believe that women should censor themselves i don't believe that any more censorship should happen twitch already went out and tried to censor Whoa, dude, i don't believe it's any of that i my stance on women is like again i think that being a girl is living life on hard mode and i'm a big dumb guy that's why if i carry your fucking groceries in your box not because i'm stronger than you it's because your life is hard and mine isn't nearly as hard so let me help you that's you know, I, I'm, I'm all like, for I'm all you're for a women. Gay dude. Black guy, was like, and you're arguing that you're more privileged than some women. That's, oh uh, God, I didn't say that. That's interesting. So, that's no, I didn't. I didn't say that. I'm just saying that, like, 
Being a girl is harder than being a guy. You're playing a new game plus 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 with no armor. What the fuck? What? No, I'm saying that like if I go outside with sweats and a dirty t-shirt, no one's gonna say shit. If a girl goes outside wearing the wrong outfit, she's gonna be called like a whore or something, and that's horrible. That's the life that we live, and I just feel like. One of the reasons why being a female is hard is exactly because of the things that you're advocating in your video. Because when you view an individual woman, if I were to go what, on my dude, stream and I were to wear, like, as a yeah. white male, if I were to wear a tank top shirt with my nipples poking through, yeah. nobody would ever tell, would, would ever say, like, you're showing bad on all white men, you're fucking it all up for all the guys, fuck you, stop that shit, you're hurting everybody. Or even what you're saying, I don't think you're wrong, Destiny, you're just kind of a douchebag for doing it. But when it comes to a woman doing it, all of a sudden, it, it, whether or not you like it, you're kind of making them out to represent all other women. You're saying, no, I, but can't, I, I, I didn't say that women have more privileges than men in Total Biscuit. I, I want to. I, oh, okay. I never said you did. I'm just uh, saying someone, that. Someone said a, that. That's weird. I didn't say that. But I, I'm saying, as, as a black gay man, uh, you are kind of playing on New Game Plus. You know, it's. Uh, it's a pretty. Oh my god, no, I'm not. Hard. Being. No, it's not. Okay, being black and gay isn't fucking hard. In fact, it's easier than being straight and white. When you're straight and white, you get blamed for so much fucking shit. Are you kidding me? I could go outside and be the most offensive person. Somebody hits me in the face. I say, oh, it's because I'm black, and suddenly I get a free meal at a restaurant. Being black and gay is not that fucking hard. In the gaming community, it might be, because people say that's so gay all the time, and they call me nigger or whatever because they're buying keyboards. Sure, that's hard, but no. Being black and gay isn't that hard. Being a girl is hard as fuck. That's why they are put in this shitty system. They are put in a system where the only way they can really feel like they succeed is if they if they feel pretty, if they look pretty, and that sucks. That guys will go into a girl's that's stream that doesn't. True. What that you just said isn't true. Hafu doesn't play that up at all, and she's more successful than ninety nine percent of male streamers. <coughs> <coughs> Hafu's also ridiculously good at Hearthstone, isn't she? What 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 did Casey Strong say? Top, top three in the world, I she's think. She's like the arena, top five, five in the world. Top five arena player. Yeah, she's a top I, I five arena player. Her name could be Hafu or Hafo, the guy, and she would still be just as popular. It has nothing to do with the fact she's a girl. That's she's, the point. That's the point. She's, she's also she yes, she is a girl. Yes, so she did possible. not. She did, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. What you just said, Destiny. It is possible. Probable? No. Possible? Yes. Hafu is one of the biggest streamers, and she's doing great. And and she's she's fucking. I call her Mulan. It's funny. I love her. Okay, she's great. But what I'm saying is, there aren't a lot of girls like that. Why? I don't know. I, I'm not gonna delve into the well, world of why. Maybe girls because aren't, this there is what aren't I mentioned a lot of earlier. girls. Like the, Period. Just not, <laughs> it's it's actually not just that though. Like, cause even if you took the percentage of girls, let's say I I believe it's a ten percent female demographic on League of Legends, you would expect at least a few of them to be of a pro gamer level based on the number of male pro gamers there aren't like there, sure. there's a there's a much much bigger problem than that but i just don't believe as i said to Siv earlier that it actually comes down to the way they present themselves on twitch i think that they present themselves on twitch in that way because it's one of the only ways that they can be competitive with others uh, because they don't have that level yeah, of because skill the, for some the reason. system the system on twitch in that way is shitty it, and that is exactly what you just said but, uh, wait, 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 wait. How, how is it Twitch's fault that uh, women aren't playing at a No, no, up? no, it's not. It's not Twitch's fault. I'm just saying it's a shitty twist. It's a shitty, it's a shitty system and Twitch is the medium. That's all. Like, uh, how, but how, how, how's the system like shitty specifically? Because I feel like in a lot of people have the mindset that you just told me. You just told me that you feel that girls that want to be successful feel the need to do that. Is that what you just said or am I wrong? Uh, I'm saying that it's the same as the idea of playing to your strengths, ultimately. Like, you play up your personality or you play up your appearance right. because that's one of the advantages you have. And that's, that applies to most walks of life as well. You know, you, there's a reason why you put on makeup before you go to a job interview. You, know? it's, it, you don't just show right. up in your pajamas. And, right. a, you know, a male wouldn't do that either. But uh, <laughs> perhaps for a female, it's, it's somewhat more important. I guess it depends on the Somewhat. It's way more for. important. It's way I, more important. I don't know. If you show up to a Walmart job, I don't think they're really going to care too much. But, you know, it, it really depends on what position and what job you're kind of going to go for. It's um, women, women definitely have to uh, doll themselves up to, 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 to meet an, an unrealistic standard of beauty that we, the men, have set. That's just true, man. And that uh, sucks. It's also set by other women. I mean, have you accurate, read a women's accurate. fashion magazine? It's ridiculous. True, but I'm saying that it's a standard set that is pretty much like, in my opinion, sometimes unreachable. That's it. That, sure. That's, and, and this that's, is... I don't even know if that's necessarily true on the internet. When we're talking streams, there's a lot of women that are, like, that look pretty. 
like even average looking ones i think for the most part i think most people are like fine enough unless you got like the extreme <coughs> trolls like are, are you like advocating that like twitch become like the new medium to try to reshape culture like around the world where we completely disregard how people look and well, I mean, you can't disregard how someone looks if you choose to put a face cam on your stream. I mean, you could just choose sure. not to put a face cam on your stream if you don't want to. Uh, I think it's I think it's often a, a confidence issue. Uh, I believe this was mentioned on Drop Frames as well. The idea that um, uh, Casey, I think, mentioned it that uh, she, it took her a couple of months to decide to stream, and that there was a confidence issue there about her appearance. Uh, and other uh, some of the other female streamers mentioned the same thing. Uh, I don't think that's as much of a deal with men. Uh, but simultaneously, I think there are higher demands on men for to demonstrate in-game skill or to be very funny as a direct result of that. There are different standards. I don't necessarily think those standards are, are terrible or oppressive. It would be nice if people didn't obsess over appearance as much as they do. But as I said, ultimately, you can just stream without a webcam. But that means you've got to compensate in another way. Because you, your stream has to be interesting in some way. If you can't provide entertaining gameplay or commentary, oh then God, you you know, the, the visual as aspect of you know being pretty on stream or doing cute things is is an attractive way to bring in an audience. Well, I mean, like I am Ghost who doesn't play with the camera, and like you know, a lot of people say she's a girl. I have no idea. I mean, just I I is don't. She, is she or she good? I I mean, one of the best. I am Ghost who is not a fucking girl. Okay, so is that is that a debunked myth? Okay, good. I'm good. That's fine. Okay. I, I had that. I had to really. Under, I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. But anyway. Well, I mean, I um, imagine people watch that. You watch that because this person is good at the game, right? I mean, it, it's a skill-based thing. Gosu is raw. Um, oh, and there you go. Yeah, Gosu is extremely good. But okay, so I wanna, I wanna take Destiny and, and TB, and I wanna kind of condense something really quick. So, TB agrees with me and says that those two isolated incidents of girls, they are kind of jerks because oh, of what- kind of, I agree kind too. of jerks. They're I agree pieces too. of shit. You kidding me? They, yeah, those people okay. should be thrown down a yes. well. Okay, and Destiny is asserting that um, if they aren't doing those manipulative things, there's no reason for them to do anything different and they're not assholes. If they're not those two isolated horrible incidents, right? I, I don't think those two instances tie into anything that we're talking about at all. I think it like totally stands aside. No, no. It, it, it's, I, I think it's I think Sky, you, you made the argument that it's systemic, and I'm not sure that like, you have enough examples to really prove that point. Wait, yeah, uh, to, to prove that more girls do that? The yeah, more girls message so. you and make yeah. fun of your suicidal friend and also stream with cleavage, and that's Wait, like... Wait, time out, time out, time out. My dead friend has nothing to do with this. That was just a part of the message. What I'm talking about is the fact that they said, oh, I'm going to go ahead and, like you know, take advantage of these boys for money. Like, that's essentially what the what those two women were asserting. That's I all. mean, like, the, the, the problem, like, all of the words that you're using here, like, carry so many meanings, like, take advantage of someone for money. Like, I take advantage of people for money when it's my birthday. I ham up that it's my birthday, and I get more donations on a birthday stream than I, than I do, fuck, ten times more than I do in a normal day. Or I'll take advantage of, say, drama, right, and come on your show and talk in front of 34,000 people right here. I'll take advantage of all the people that, that are interested in that like when, when you say like take advantage right. like, it sounds like you're and saying that it has like, such malicious think, intent you know but that yes like do you think that do you think that i think i'm some revolutionary person no in doing this and making that video and even having this on my stream i honestly feel like i'm no better than like you know this is an extreme example but i'm no better than phantom lord when he did that whole derp trolling thing because i am milking this and so are you and TV and Siv and Casey Tron were all in this uh, together. I, I, and I that's how I that's how I feel. I know, <laughs> uh, okay, you're right, you're right, you're uh, right. T B right, right. the bigger man here, fuck off with your YouTube dirty yeah. money. Hey, okay, Biscuit Bear, you know I'm what I'm trying to say. Four hundred and twenty thousand Twitter followers, sorry. <laughs> you fucking bitch. Oh my god, I hate <laughs> you. Get the claws out now. Yeah, claws. Bear, you know what I'm talking about though, right? Do you see what I'm saying? Don't try to swag on me. Okay! <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying, you dumb bear? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get it, but uh, I, again, I think that, you know, I, I, it comes back to what I said in the first place. You made the point yourself, it's a blanket statement, and people took it that way, and that's the problem. You know, it was, I think that some of the examples you gave are really good, and I think that you probably should have mentioned them, and it could have been a video that was really focused on exploit you know the, the idea of exploitation of vulnerable people i think that's a really good topic i've talked about it in the past oh. and it's great that you brought it up 
Um, here's like here's like a really good example that I would agree with you on Sky, right? If a girl is streaming with whatever amounts of cleavage or whatever, then that's wh whatever. I don't care about that, right? And I think that we may well, or may not dude, disagree there. But like, if a girl is streaming and say that she has like an app thing where you can donate five dollars to send in like a boyfriend application, uh -huh. maybe something like that. I would look at something like that and be like, oh, okay, that's <laughs> getting like a little exploded. That should right probably there. be against the yeah. I guess. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I guess I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. One of the big reasons why I made um. I made the video was I uh, when I started streaming again before I did I would go on Twitch on League and see who's streaming right, and um, I noticed that like there were about six girl gamers that I, I think had like thousands about like, a couple thousand views and then some of them had seven hundred and five hundred. I visited I visited a lot of their streams and what I saw I just didn't really I don't like the fact that like you buy this girl and something on her Amazon wish list and she'll send you like a picture of her holding it or something. I was just like. Man, I, I can't believe this is happening. And and so like for me, I, I, I see these things and I just, I made the video because I thought that there was gonna be more than just two examples that you know I could just draw from. I mean, I kind of feel the same way sometimes when I turn on some streams and even looking at, I could even use your stream as an example, when people display like the top donors of the day, uh -huh. you could almost argue that that's kind of exploitive. Like, okay, well you give me no money just so that you can get noticed to put on my stream and put mm. on a list for everybody right. to see. Like you could argue that that's exploitive. Yeah, I mean, I take a, I take a fairly extreme view on this because I don't take donations and I don't have like sub notifiers or any functionality of that on my stream at all. But I also feel that that's because, frankly, like I do well enough on YouTube to uh, the where it would be like pretty unfair, like double dipping. It's ca kind of ridiculous, really. Uh, but simultaneously, I also understand that CPMs fucking suck. Yeah. A lot of people use oh, yeah. oh, and a God. lot of people rely on subscriptions and donations. Yeah. And those uh, modules that you're using for OBS, you know, the fact that you've programmed your thing to make that uh, joke every time you get a subscriber and there's a little nice little quote every time, you know, someone's name pops up, people go to the extent of trying new things like using text to speech. Uh, I mean, it's really all ways to enhance the number of donations that you actually get. Yeah. And I, I, it's just like, when, where do you draw the line and is that line arbitrary and who gets to choose and i think really it comes down to twitch that twitch is the one that really has to draw the line at some point it's and say what's acceptable and what isn't and, when and it I comes to monetizing they, your stream i don't think that they should um make any more lines to censoring anybody because that's not the right direction that i feel anyone should go in i i just uh i'm, I'm trying to fight for the the people that thought they was going to get the pussy but then they didn't because it was all a scam like that's and 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 in retrospect um, I'll apologize for not, you know, in my video, not making that clear, that, like, making it really, really, really clear that I am not talking about all of the female streamers. I'm really talking I, about the I really do I think you should make a follow-up. I really do. Like, I, I think, like, particularly the, um, the issue of exploitation, like, deserves its own fucking video. Like, there are a lot of vulnerable people that either watch YouTubers and... It, this was like, uh, you know, I, a long time ago, I had a, a kind of beef with PewDiePie. And one oh. of the issues that I had with him was uh, I, I find this whole bro thing that he does to be um, potentially um, just a bit damaging uh, to, to like vulnerable younger people. And I, th I think a lot of uh, Twitch personalities big up the idea that their viewers are their friends kind of more so than they really are. Like, and there's no way they could possibly be their friends because there's too many of them, you know? And I think that the, you've, you've got to watch out a little bit because there are people with mental issues. There are people that are socially introverted that they're going to find a sense of belonging there and maybe they take it a little bit too far. Uh, sure, yeah, but there, even, are, there are some responsibility issues there. Some. Even at that total biscuit, like you, like you have to admit, going back to what you said earlier, like that line starts to become insanely arbitrary. Like I yeah, think every time does. Crip gets a sub, I think he like bro fists the cam. Like, is that I too much? Did that, did, yeah. I thought he did that ironically. I just he? feel like now... Well, getting... ironically or not, I mean, you know. I, I think uh, and now, also, when, now... you talk about, when you talk about... When you talk about real fast, when you talk about people being, like, taken advantage of with female streamers, for some guys, like, the, like the person that you just described, somebody that feels like they were taken advantage of and they didn't get the pussy, like, that, that's literally Elliot Rogers, the crazy fucking sociopath that shot up the whatever because the one oh, girl wouldn't date him. Who, I mean, who like... Was a, who was a misogynist, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like a legit... Oh, no, 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 fuck off. Get that and eat his shit out of here. Oh, my hey, fucking God. I... No, oh, I mean, you, you want an example God. of someone that's a legit misogynist? <laughs> that he's probably a pretty good fucking example. Oh, know? man. Did you just compare, no, but like, you just compare the always... guy that didn't get a pussy to a nigga that shot up a school? 
Uh, well, I mean, well, no, he was the that was one and the same person. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, okay. It was the same guy. It's like uh, the, it was the, the same a lot guy. Of research after the fact was that he visited a lot of these pickup artist forums and uh, mm -hmm. things like that, and he was learning some potentially like misogynistic attitudes that okay. way. So I, now, I, I was, was just clarifying because I, I just... yeah, hard to like be, be absolutely certain that he was, but you know, it was something that came up. Um, so, I mean, obviously the media also mentioned that, so take that with a pinch of salt, because they also probably said he played Call of Duty, so that was why, you know? But, hey, it's... Yeah. I, I just... I, I think there is a degree of responsibility you have as a streamer. I think that uh, it probably... I, in my opinion, the line is drawn not as far as you would draw it. I think that uh, you, you've you got to put some, a lot of responsibility on the viewer. As you mentioned, you know, the responsibility on the males and just like, look, if the male thinks he was going to get the pussy, then he was a bit dumb, right? Like, he really wasn't and in that a small smart. minority, like, there's, I don't know, like, I get yeah. 3,000 viewers about a day, and I doubt, like, any of them think that they're going to sleep with me. And I would say the same for Nicole Slaw, like, come on. And yeah, like but Jessica fantasizing. said, anybody, and anybody fantasizing who is thinks... ultimately harmless. But Casey, and even, yeah, if there are, not... like, even if there are, like, a dozen that do feel that way, like, can you really hold the female streamer responsible for that? Like... Wait, Casey, 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 I in no way am saying any of this pertains, like, to you because you're not I know what your stream is doing you're a troll you're a comedian you're you're great like that's that's not what you're doing so I'm not even talking about you ta-da like <laughs> I'm not I don't know but I would still be subject to that happening because I'm a moderately attractive girl who streams showing cleavage so you know I right, could but, but your intent behind that is your intent to to like pervert thirst to get money, I think your intent is more to make everybody pissed off than the fact that you used your ultimate on a minion and say that you're a god at league, and it pisses everybody off. And I think that's, that's the hilarious. funniest shit in the world. It is literally that shit. the funniest shit. Like when you use, I'm using my ultimate, my ultimate move. Oh my god, like that shit kills me. And that is you using your humor in order to, you know, like in order to do better like in order to make your stream exist because if you're not just a pair of breasts and no girl is just a pair of breasts well, you've got to argue she's partly a pair of breasts though right like it's part of the package i think so it's yeah. definitely it, part oh, of it. No, yeah, oh no oh no oh oh yeah you have boobs it's part I think. of the package it's it's definitely a big part of the package like you know but i'm I saying like you did there. thank you but i'm 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 also <laughs> just saying that like she used that package and she decided to make it work for her for more than just being a girl with a big part of the package. She just wanted to make it more funny and that's what she did. And that's yeah, not who I'm talking package. to. And, yeah, God. And um, if I made a follow-up video, it's, it's really just going to be like, I can't stand down for my convictions. I do believe that some of these girls, very few, yes, but some of these girls are responsible for manipulating their manipulating these young horny kids into giving them money, and I still. But I think if you make oh that point, head. you need to call you out the male money. streamers who do it too, because it's not just female streamers. There's, there are well, actually I think a lot there's of there's a male separate that are issue. I think well, I mean, if it's coming down to exploiting people for donations and the methods issue. that people use, then it's definitely not a separate issue. Well. It's just the that worst, like, girls may have one particular advantage in that respect that they can utilize. The two worst offenders two, that I think of serious. on all of Twitch that exploit people for viewers, though, would be Phantom Lord and Crow. Like, hands down. Uh, unless you guys know of someone else that does it better. Whether it's the Phantom Lord, like, the alcohol puking streams donate for the case openings for, like, 15 hours straight. Or whether it's the Crow, how many times can I hint that I'm going to fuck this hooker that I brought home while you donate money for case openings, like... Those are probably like worse offenders, and those probably like. Oh, I'm take glad I don't watch those people. They sound like real assholes. Oh, you need to get into the uh, Counter Strike streaming scene, and by Counter Strike streaming, I mean but, face over. But wait a minute, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that, and I, I love Phantom Lord. Sounds his brother, terrible. his brother is super hot, and I'm just gonna say that like they're 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 playing the game. Um, are they taking advantage of like people and their feelings? Yeah, one can argue that. Does that make them assholes in my book right now? Yeah, I think that makes them jerks, or jerks for taking advantage of, like, Okay, well, you know, at least you're, like, you're applying your uh, principles. I apply it you know, everywhere. Like, consistently. That's cool. Well, the, the, I think that we can talk all night about all kinds and extents of taking advantage of your viewers and stuff and in all the ways you do it. But I think that the core point is that most of these ways don't have... Um, 
Negative, like for example, Sky's sub button doesn't have a negative effect on a load of other streamers. And not I think necessarily that true. to That's go specifically about true. the girls who are doing this, uh, about you know, in the way that Sky mentioned, they do have a negative effect on a lot of other girl streamers who aren't doing anything wrong. And you can be okay. like, oh, this is so <laughs> weird to say, said. but I think that <laughs> you know, can you prove that also? No, I, I can prove the opposite right now, and Total Biscuit will know as well as anyone else because you've been involved in these arguments on the internet. When you talk about words like faggot and words like that, people will say that even by you having gay up as part of a sub message there, that you are reinforcing stereotypes and say it's okay to call gay people gay if you're a straight person. And there are people that will say you shouldn't even use gay jokingly but because that's a every time. Word. What? No, hold on. Oh, no, no. Trust me. I've had this argument your, your, in your my career almost is destroyed is joke, over this. Right? <laughs> like, you can use it as a joke, but there are people people that would say that by you using it as a joke, you reinforce people's attitudes that think it's okay to jokingly call other people that are homosexual gay, and that they can just go around and say to anybody. Like, there are people that would argue that. I know this because I, I trust me, no one has been through the fucking ringer more than me on arguments relating to this shit. There are people that would make that argument. Like... <clears throat> Right, total biscuit. You can back me up on this, right? You know. Um, I, yes, yes. Whether or not, whether or not the argument is true, there are definitely people that would say that. That any time you use oh, certain yes. words, in, yeah, in, in in a very large number, yeah. And you know, I, so. I, tr and I did not, I have not used that particular word since that incident. I might add, you know, for for a, you know, for a very good reason. It's not what the fucking hassle, but yeah, it's. I, I I think that it's um you know Siv. I think like you have all the good intentions in the world. I have no doubt of that. Um, I just I think that you have a problem with being able to prove that point. Uh, the idea the idea of proving harm is really hard. Like it's a very similar thing to a lot of the arguments that we're currently having in the gaming scene about sexism and the way that female characters are portrayed. It's very difficult to prove harm of any description from the portrayal of those female characters. And I think that that also applies to Twitch streamers as well. Is it actually harming? female streamers that uh, a lot of female streamers may decide to show cleavage or whatever is it harming anybody really oh it's, it's a very hard money. argument to make i feel i think it's it's correlation equaling causation for the most part and i don't necessarily think there's a lot of real evidence behind it look hold on time out this is this is going nowhere. This is a circle, and we're, we're getting way off topic. And the I'm topic sorry, you expected us to come to a conclusion? This no, is the I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying that the topic at hand is exploitation of softcore porn on Twitch that I think is kind of douchey if you're exploiting horny kids. And I have yet to hear, like, I have two examples where you agree, and of course two examples is not warranted enough to say that it's all girl streamers, which I never said it was all girl streamers. And I'm just trying to clear my name here when I say that my opinion isn't completely off base. Like, I really don't think I that it is. Like, yeah, but the I problem feel like that we... what you're mad about is you're mad about people who manipulate their viewers for money, which I get mad about that too, and I think okay. you need to make a new video saying that you're mad about that. People who manipulate their viewers for money. People, not women, not anybody in particular, but just streamers as a whole. Well, I mean, you can you can mention women, but you you mentioned that you know uh, some females exploit viewers in a particular way that males don't necessarily have access to. It's you know it's the same idea. Because I think that, you, yeah, you're using uh, what you've got. Ultimately, everybody doing. like uh, I mean, I I hate to say it like this, but like when male streamers uh, manipulate ways to get views, either they like pretend to be drunk on stream, or they cry, or they will purposefully bring up an accident that cost them money. And yeah, that is a way of manipulating and that's bad. That's Isn't awful. that just as bad as a woman using her sexuality? Like, I don't know. Well, I'd say so. uh, what? Total I mean, I'd, I mean, I'd say that they're on an equal level ultimately. It, it's all yeah. it's all the same goal. It's it's to emotionally exploit somebody to Whoa, try dude, and get money out of them. And that's different gay? to being pretty on stream and getting donations because you happen to be that's because that's entirely you're not manipulating someone into doing that that that's just something that they're doing I, out of their own free will i definitely agree hey, i i definitely agree that like some people or, or i definitely agree that they're, those are on the same like playing field but i think that when you use your body for these sort of things you're taking an extra step because a lot of these female streamers that i have watched i've been in their chats i've watched when people when people like berate them and call them sluts and whores and whatever like that's just an extra added thing if i were to cry on stream 
and get money for it for whatever reason. The chat will spam cry faces and they'll say, oh, is everything okay? There'll be a good 10% that say he's faking, fuck this guy, but most of them are pretty supportive. If a girl like, you know, shows her breasts on stream, she's just gonna get hammered with horrible things and that's the guy's fault. But Wait, I also- what? I don't know. If you show your press, you're probably gonna get some pretty nice remarks. Well, really, I don't. I don't see it. When I when I see in other in girl streams when when they're showing their breasts, I see fat whore. I see whore slut bitch. And those so, guys don't know how to treat those girls, and that's really shitty. That's true. But you, like, there are two things that are wrong with that. One, sometimes showing the cleavage does help. You might get a lot of like fucking negative remarks, but initially it will get viewers in the door. Right? There's a reason why people do it because it's exploitive. That's like the entire purpose of this, right? It's not just people being mean. Some people are nice about it and some people will donate money because of it. But the second thing is that even if you're a big streamer, like um, there are still people that get called out for like crying on stream. Even people with like really loyal fan bases. Yeah. I'm sure that your chat is probably gonna spam it as soon as I bring it up, but there's the Hafu copy pasta with oh um blah 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 and my tits and my boyfriend dumped me or whatever like there are still people that will get shit for crying on stream that even happened. if they have like a look basically to it and they have and uh, yeah. frankly half of it's a yeah, no, I don't, reason for being upset by I, the I don't I don't know what happened uh oh that's I sucks. do and it was fucking horrible oh oh no wait with what uh, well, with with are, Hafu are in you particular, you're not claiming like, that Hafu did that from manipulation, right? No, 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 no. I'm claiming the exact opposite. Like you're okay. claiming that people say you're just claiming that people, uh, you know, will say bad things when someone cries. Like she was genuinely upset. And no, no, right? If it's a, if it's a real reason, like for example, I streamed um, a year after my best friend died, and someone brought it up, and I cried. Like nigga. Like uh, uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna cry on stream, and that was like three years ago. But in that in that case, it's fine. But you know, you've definitely seen the ones that. I mean, Casey Tron again takes advantage of this. Well, she used to when she would like pretend to cry and be like, "Could you please stop?" And like that. I just... never took advantage of that for donations. It was always to get a rise out of my chat. Right, I will a, say a, that. That's a part rise out. Yeah. Right? yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. A rise out of your chat, more viewers, and that would boost you on the top of Twitch. When you would, and, and then you would inadvertently get more donations because they, mm. when you read it in your crying voice, people love that shit. That's just true, Casey. That's it's, part of the performance. Well, I don't even think that That's was inadvertent. W yeah, Casey Tron knew yeah, that. Isn't it? No, no, Casey Tron just admitted that she doesn't do it for donations, but I said it was in it. Like, she, she had to have known. She had to have known. Like, the, at this the end is of the like day, the, entertaining my stream is more important to me than donations. And if, like, at a certain point in the game, like, it would be really funny if I started crying and getting really upset about something, that I'm going to do it because it fits the narrative and it's entertaining to my stream, not because I think I'm going to get viewers. I'm not just going to cry out of nowhere. Well, so that's that's the the is a goddamn terrible example because she is literally playing a persona on stream. And there's actually not that many people that do that. And certainly, if even less, that do it successfully. I feel like a lot of these arguments come down to like arguments of semantics. Like, I, like when you talk about like taking advantage of people or exploiting people, like technically hey, that's really all money. all you do as a streamer. Like, what is the best way that I can monetize my fan base? Right, that's a question that every streamer has to ask themselves. So you find different ways to exploit them, right? Which is what you're doing when you when you pimp out an Amazon affiliate link, when you pimp out sponsors, <laughs> when you ask for donations, when you have message. Like, you're just looking to exploit people in order to get money for hey, it. Like, Casey? it sounds bad. But I think well, that's that, the business. I think that you are okay. Can I read something that you tweeted me on March 18th, yesterday? <laughs> uh oh. I wanna. I just wanna make sure that this is coming from a comedy place and not a serious place because you know that you're a troll. You have a persona, and I wanna know your true intention. So I'm gonna read this for you, okay? Okay. Um, you you tweeted at me a, a picture, uh, you just a heart, and it says, "In no way do I feel like Sky was calling me out in his video." I have a stream that is a unique outside of oh any God. sexual appeal I possess. Money. I don't think that this issue is how any female presents herself. I'm uh, oh, sorry. I don't think that the issue is how any female presents herself on stream. I think the issue is average Twitch users' inability to see a female streamer as an individual instead of an entire group. Soda Poppin is funny. Night Blue 3 is educational. I'm a cutie pie is laid back. Crip allows copy pastas. Female streamers, they're all money grubbing attention whore sluts. That is what you said to me yesterday. And I said it in a sarcastic tone because sometimes people use sarcasm to make a point come across stronger. They but use sometimes people with... Never mind. They, they use sarcasm, <laughs> but in text, what, how, how am I supposed to believe that is sarcasm? You go on to write an article 
at claiming the exact opposite after you were on that stream yesterday. So I must say, your intentions have been skewed from the beginning. I don't. How am I claiming the exact opposite from okay, the two different things? Because that I said. the last thing that you tweeted me was. They're all money grubbing attention whore sluts. Now that could be sarcasm, but because it never... definitely was sarcasm. But, no, no, no. But you've never uh, I had would have a read that as sarcasm immediately. No, no, no. But, I think but, it's but, so obviously me. sarcasm. No, 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 I'm, I'm British. We have inbuilt sarcasm detectors, so you know. Wait, but in, but I wasn't calling her out in my video, and then she goes around and then turns around and writes this article that I haven't read yet. And I I don't know, Casey. Our relationship has always been like this. You're sarcastic to your stream. And then I would talk to you on raid call. You're a completely different person. You are no longer sarcastic. And I'm just, I'm, I'm really just genuinely confused at this point because like that, that's just, I had to bring that up because I, I remember that tweet and I wanted to make sure that if you were saying that as sarcasm, maybe I'm dumb as AIDS, but I did not see that immediately as sarcasm. I was just like, God damn, like Casey, relax. Can, oh, I, mean, can I actually, can is. I offer an explanation and Casey aren't going to tell me if I'm wrong? Cause sure. I think it's really obvious. When you read something like that, what she's essentially saying is, it's not fair that every single guy can have their own shtick, but as soon as, like, a girl does something, she's automatically grouped in with every single, oh, now they're all just cleavage whores or whatever. Oh, yeah, the yeah, ending, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. I'm pretty sure that was essentially yeah, 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 the point. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. That's yeah. the point that I would have got, yeah. Right, I guess I'm just dumb as age then. But, um, I, I don't know, I just feel like I'm not saying that, but I guess a lot of people say that I am saying that, and... If I have to make a follow-up video explaining that I'm not saying that, then I will. But I'm, all I'm saying is that the girls that take advantage of horny kids are jerks. And I'm not backing down from that ever. I'm sorry. I don't care if you think that it's okay for them to do it. Just because something is okay doesn't make it right. That doesn't make it right. Just like how my video was... Or, you have something to say, Casey? You giggling over there? I'm just no, saying, I like... No, giggling. Uh, look, I'm saying it doesn't make it right just because something is okay. Oh, How, how does that make sense? You both agreed that in those two isolated incidents, those girls that would reply and get people thirsty and horny and excited, like, that's not right. And that's who I was talking about in my video. Maybe my video didn't make that abundantly clear, but there's it, no... It didn't. Okay, I'm that's gonna be fine. Honest, it really didn't. That's it's fine. Like you were just talking about girls that had cleavage streams. That's what, that's what I got that's, from that. I, 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 I got that from that. And, then, uh, and then the girls on drop frames did That's well, fine. So, you yeah. know what? That's fine. You can, you can interpret whatever message you want from it. That is absolutely fine. That wasn't my message. But you I know feel what? Like the majority well, of people, I feel like if you polled an audience, I feel like 85 plus percentage of people would think that your video overall was condemning cleavage streamers. Like, period. I, I, whether I disagree. I've gotten nothing. I've gotten like 85% positive reinforcement explaining people that they understood what I was trying to say. Well, wait, but how do you know you're not getting positive a bunch of yeah. individuals who want to believe that? Hold on, not hold on, because look at look at Catrific. Hold on, I, not right now. Uh, look at look at Catrific. Like she made a video called "Dear Slut Shamers," where she takes my video apart and says that I was slut shaming. That video with all of her loyal fans didn't do so well. Why? Because people disagreed with her. And you know what? I, I'm I might lose this, but I'm in a straw poll. There are a lot of people in this chat that aren't my fucking friends. I've seen nothing but people saying how I lost the argument, Total Biscuit wins, all this shit. They all fucking hate Destiny, but at the end of the day, they hate me too. So I don't have a lot of friends in here. So I'm going to straw poll this. If you really feel like 85% of the people think that I'm only talking about people that show cleavage, then okay. But I'm talking about the girls that take advantage, purposefully making their cameras big and saying thirsty shit and having people donate to bad boyfriend applications. That was the message of my video, but I will happily straw poll. And you know what? Like Unfortunately, I said again, you've the... now skewed the straw poll by yeah. saying it. But <laughs> no, no, I... What the hell? Total Biscuit, everyone is on your side. If you are if you don't I, believe... No. Yes! No, that's not... I you, you can't, you can't have, every... I've been watching the chat the entire fucking time. Everyone loves Total Biscuit. You have been you have been in this rationally and calm. I mean, shit. When it was just Destiny and Casey Sean, this shit was easy as fuck. You make things hard. That's why I'm like, well, you shit. Now like, Total to... Biscuit has pretty much repeated everything that me and Casey Tron have said, right? Like, yeah, except not yelling and and using like Asperger's as a fucking comparison point. There's a big difference. <laughs> okay. And not throwing around your the fact that you've been doing this longer. Total, except the Twitter Whoa, thing was dude, a joke, a obviously. Subscriber, what trust me. Oh, no, it wasn't. I was deadly serious. Oh, shut up, stop. Biscuit Bear. Get him. <laughs> okay.
I'm typing it right now. We're just enjoying the silence. Yeah. I'm enjoying the massive scrolling of people saying people that I'm terrible. So, you know, it's like, no, they, yeah, they, thanks, they, thanks, guy. Uh, thanks. They fucking love you, man. They do. Yeah, I, I needed that at 2 a.m. Holy shit. Oh, it is 2 a.m. where you are. East Coast, boys. If we can do something constructive in the meantime, um, I saw a tweet uh, from someone very relevant in the scene, and he said, um, they actually kind of di disagreed with something I said. He said, um, the path to becoming a respectable female, stream uh, female gamer is so difficult due to a ton of factors I don't think titty cams are the problem. Um, I think it's more of an issue of how difficult it is because there is no support in place for them to succeed, but everything tears them down. Uh, uh, TB, you're a good talker. What's your uh, opinion on this? Maybe we can be I, constructive. I, I, yeah, I think there is actually an issue there. I, I've spoken about it a few times in the past with StarCraft in particular, and it was in debates about female-only tournaments. And I believe this came up with League recently as well. There was a big spat over uh, transgender and gay participation in them. But um, in particular, uh, some people argue, why should girls be segregated? They should just play with everybody else. Uh, and the argument that I make is, well, it's, it should be fairly obvious by the fact that StarCraft has literally one competitive female in, in, in the complete scene. And she's now gone to Dota. Um, but there is obviously an issue Whoa, dude, that is preventing girls <laughs> from getting to a competitive level. And it's across all esports, all of them, without a doubt. Uh, and that is uh, what we need to figure out what that is. In the meantime, providing tournaments where they can play against uh, people of their level and against the same gender is probably a, a pretty decent way to at least start the ball rolling. I don't think it's a particularly good solution, ultimately, because what we want really is to integrate competitive females in with the main competitive scene. But as it stands, we don't have any that are good enough to play in it. So the question, therefore, becomes how the hell do we get people to that point? And is it even possible? Is it just because uh, females don't have the desire to play to that level? Is it, uh, is, are there social issues, biological issues? It's a really complicated topic, and I don't have the answer, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't think anyone currently has the answer. If they do, they're certainly not sharing it. But um, you did say that um, <coughs> the female tournaments aren't the answer, but they're helping. I Would think they might help. Could you say the same thing for um, boob streams that go too far? Wouldn't it help if they weren't there, even though they're so not the answer? Women who stream with cleavage have an effect on women who no, 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 no. competitive Tron, people. I think women should be allowed to wear what they want, but sometimes they that, zoom Casey? in with the camera because too far on boobs and make it the topic of the stream. No, no, no. There's a difference between a girl casually happening to be wearing some cleavage and making it the focus of the entire stream. There's a very obvious difference sometimes. But in your, in your hypothetical yeah. world, there's some girl that's like trying her hardest to become a pro gamer. She's training, she's putting in like 12 hours a day and fucking Dota uh -huh. 2 or League or whatever. And then she sees a girl streaming with like excessive cleavage cams and then suddenly she just like quits playing? Like, yes! Like yes, that that happens a lot. I, I, I'll pull up Does emails. It? Yeah, I'll, I'll pull up emails <laughs> for you, dude. I will pull up emails. I'll pull up chat logs. There okay, are so many you people that... Now do you have emails from people Whoa, that were dude, legitimately what competitive you gaming? Like, do you have emails from people that are like in fucking Silver 5 that stream to four viewers, get frustrated that they suck at League, get frustrated that the stream isn't very successful, and then they just blame it on cleavage cams? Because there's a big difference there. Because the person, that Silver whatever player, was never going to make it, dog. Even Wait. without the cleavage cams, that person was never going to be anyone. First, well, first of all, dude, how can you be so dismissive of people trying hard on their streams? That's bullshit. Just because you're I'm, Silver doesn't mean you can't work to a better ending. No, stop. Calm down. I'm not being dismissive of people trying on their hard on their streams. I'm saying that if something as simple, and I know Total Biscuit will back me up here, if something as simple as somebody streaming with something that makes you upset, like, completely turns you off, you were never made to do this kind of thing. Because it gets way fucking hard Harder than that. It gets way harder than that than dealing with another stream that you don't like. 
Yeah, I, I, again, I have problem. I have real problems with this correlation equals causation thing because, outs I mean, if you're saying you have emails Whoa, and chat dude, logs to prove this stuff, what I mean, that would be great to bring up in the video for one thing. Uh, but secondly, do you have a large enough sample size to make sure that it's legit? Have you verified the authenticity of them? Whoa, dude, it's really hard to prove what that, gay? and I just think there's too spurious a connection between the two things to really have any impact whatsoever. Because like I said, the point, I made the point before, before Twitch even existed, we still had no female pro gamers. And in Brood War, we had literally one female pro gamer who wasn't good enough to beat foreigners. And like in Brood War, beating a foreigner was like the bread Expect and butter of Korean pro gamers. It was sure, expected. Like, dude, okay, the, the, pool, the pool size of the sample size isn't gonna be big, but that's because the entire pool for girl gamers isn't big. Like, in, in comparison, it could okay, be big. Okay, so is it a girl gamer who is going to, like, go on to be a professional streamer? Is it a girl gamer who's like, I only get five viewers and I'm a girl gamer. I tried posting my stream on the general discussion on League of Legends and it didn't get any attention. <laughs> I think it's Casey Tron's fault. Like... I think there's a difference between those kinds of people too. Yeah, it's also known as that that's Whoa, anecdotal dude, and it's really not what what particularly gay? strong evidence one way or the other. I'm not discounting the idea that it is possible that some females have been discouraged by this behavior, uh, but I made Whoa, the argument dude, earlier that it's also what encouraging that females who are not really all that good at the game can still get viewers because they happen to have some other advantages that they can use to do it. Uh, so I think that the fact that there are female streamers that are able to be successful that way is actually Whoa, potentially dude, an encouragement, but I what also don't gay? have any evidence to back that up either, so that's an assertion. But, uh, you know, ultimately, like, the, the issue of the lack of female gamers in competitive gaming is something that needs to be figured out. I don't know how to fucking solve it. I wish I did. Wait, like, why, it's, but, it's why is it a, why is it a, it's not, I don't, I don't see it as a problem, I just see it as different interests, like, I, I mean, well, m maybe it is that, but I mean, isn't it a little bit strange that something that, frankly, like both genders should be equally good at, because as far as we know, there's no biological reason for them not to be, has literally zero competitive of half the people on the planet? That's a bit odd, right? That's a little bit no, weird. I mean, it's undeniable that there's a problem with female representation in, in video games. Yeah, that's that's like a cultural... or it's In cultural. competitive gaming. Um, well, even gaming in general, because let's be real, like, we all know that those polls... That fifty-two percent of women play games. Those, if those are only including that's mobile games, right? That's mostly mobiles. Yeah. yeah I mean, we, it, it, well, I mean, that's a demographic up. thing. Yeah, but, yeah. And like sure. I said before, the demographic of League of Legends is ten percent female, and we have zero competitive female pro gamers. Like the de the demographic of um, Dota is obviously less, but again, zero competitive female pro gamers, zero competitive female um, uh, CS:GO, any any esport. There's no one on on competitive level that can play in these tournaments. Nobody. Yeah. And that's really fucking weird. And I don't think you can Whoa, boil dude, it down to what Twitch gay? TV. You know, because it goes back way further than that. You know, uh, I'd, I'd love to know what the solution is. I really would. Uh, somebody donated something that I wanted to bring up. Um, I said, according to you, women expressing her femininity is wrong. Uh, Whoa, what is dude, wrong with you? Why is it wrong? You what express your gay? sexuality all the time and there's no wrong in that. I, I don't even believe that I'm saying that. Oh my god, you got money. Like, I don't, I don't believe that I'm saying that at all. Am, am, Total Biscuit, am I saying that? If I am, I tell me. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you're saying that specifically. I think so, someone's taking it a little bit too far. Um, no, but see, but, that's yeah. what I, that's the whole frustration with this entire thing. It went from me posing this video to me being called a rapist in like five seconds flat. <laughs> I, well, well, one, welcome to the internet, and two, welcome yeah. to the author. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I get it, I get whoa, it. Dude, but like, subscriber, I just feel gay? like my... My video was not about censorship. My video was to raise awareness about that these girls exist. That's all I wanted to do, and I think that I did. Maybe it wasn't the best, maybe like, maybe a lot of people already knew. I know this conversation has been going on for a long time. I'm not a revolutionary person who like, started this conversation and suddenly I'm gone. No, nothing like that. But I definitely think that there needed to be some awareness to the fact that there are some girls that do this, and I don't know. So far, every single time I bring up this point, I just, I don't. I think the thing that hurts you the most is that, like, you have, like, one of the most successful kind of girl streamers that are well known for the cleavage thing, who's reasonably intelligent, I, I think, or at least from what I've seen, and, and she felt, like, personally attacked by it, right? So I think it's not, like, a far stretch to say that a lot of Which other girl? female streamers, yeah, unless there's another female streamer, I don't know much about Civ. 
Oh, well. Sib's got lustrous hair, I'll give him that. Like, I'm pretty jelly of it, frankly. Yeah. I, Here, it, but, um, but I mean, like, okay. I think it it's to the message maybe of your video that Casey Tron, or maybe Casey Tron felt like she was personally attacked by it, right? I'm pretty sure like, that's what spurred her on to I mean, I didn't necessarily it. feel like I was personally attacked by it, but I did feel like he was shutting down, like, a lot of female streamers, and it hurt them, and I felt, as a popular female streamer, I should say something about it. Yeah, but once again, I think Casey Tron is a difficult subject here because... Uh, a part of her humor is parodying, um, you know, a lot of the girls Sky was actually talking about. Yeah, you know, you're, it's a you're, weird you're connection. You're literally the, you're the personified version of the hyperbole that is my video. That's your shtick. It's like your your donation sound is literally the same thing that you get Whoa, on that. dude, a subscriber. You know, that what are you gay? Like, I'm not, it's funny, but you know, if uh, if every girl streamer acted like you, but serious. There'd be a problem, but they don't. You are arguing Whoa, that dude, into a subscriber. That's what the point. Gay? Hey guys, take it off sub mode. Take it off sub mode, please. Never in sub mode. Whoa, dude, a subscriber. Uh, what a gay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, th I think the argument's kind of gone about as far as it can go, really. I mean, we're just going around in circles at this point. It's yeah. I, I, Whoa, I dude, personally think a follow up video would be good. I gay? think that you talking about uh, streamer exploitation of viewers would be an excellent topic to cover. Um, and I think that you should cover it from both the way the Whoa, males dude, do it and the unique ways that so some female streamers do it as well. Um, I think that would be great, okay. personally. Um, before I stop this, I... Uh, I want to get into a quick call with Just Hold Biscuit. That's what I want to do. I, I, That's are you suicide, man, if you're going to disagree with him. Are you coming on to me? Because Shut we've talked about this. No, no. I just want to get in a call with just me and you for the conclusion of this. Is that okay? I mean, I'm fine with it. All right, cool. Me, me and Casey Tron will just get in a <laughs> private call of ourselves. All right, very great, very great civil discussion. All right, thanks, thanks guys. Sky. No problem. See ya. I want to get this done once and for all before I end this. Because I'm sorry, but Destiny kept saying, like, oh, Total Biscuit got my back. Nigga can't speak for himself, so I just want the source. Hey. Biscuit Bear. This is an ambush, isn't it? No, I'm doing this because every single time someone had something to say, they would just say, Biscuit, you got my back, right? And I'm like, bruh. So I might as well just go to the source. Might as well, well I'm, I mean, I, I agree with most of what Destiny says. And mo not necessarily in the way he says it, but I agree with quite a lot of what he says. Yeah, and that's totally fine. But the the only thing that I want to get out is I want you to, Whoa, tell, dude, I want you to tell me and explain what to me in a way that I can understand that's not yelling what, where my thought process is wrong here. And I'm going to tell it to you one more time and I just want you to dismantle it. That's it. Because, okay. Because in all of this, I'm just trying to learn. Even though, like, I, I made that video, I could be just as ignorant as somebody else, but I don't vividly see it, and I hope Whoa, you can help. Whoa, dude! A subscriber? Okay. What are you, gay? All right. I okay. mean, I think it's, it's going to be the same argument I made earlier. I think uh, that you self-admitted that it was a blanket statement. That's why people were upset about it. It wasn't specific enough. So, but the message isn't wrong, is it? If it wasn't, if it was specific... Yeah, but the message was wasn't conveyed well. Like, the message that you are conveying now is not the same message that I heard when I watched your video. And it's also not the same message that, like, uh, the, the girls on Drop Frames heard either. So it really but, seems to be more of a, a problem with actually getting that message across. Can you explain, then, why, so, why, why the majority, like, so many females, streamers or whatever they were, gave me a really, really great deal of support? I've gotten nothing but support from women. Like, it's about 10% of women that have mm. been sending me death threats or whatever, but like 90% of girls have emailed me, hit me up, and they're all giving me their support saying they definitely understood that the message was about the manipulation of stream of, of, of Twitch viewers. So what- Okay, um, well, some of them did, but the girls on Drop Frames didn't, you know? I mean, they're fairly prominent streamers. It's, you're not gonna get every, uh, like the fact that not everybody got the message uh, is indicative that perhaps there was a bit of a problem in the delivery of the okay. message, you know? And right. I think, like, what you were talking about, like, giving the examples of those two girls, you didn't mention them. Like, you didn't give those examples to anyone on the video. And I understood that way better when you did here. Right. And I Because yeah, you, got, you got more in-depth on the idea of exploitation. But ultimately, that's not what your video is called. Right. Like, if I, if I go to your channel, the name of your video is Dear Female Streamers. Um, it, and that's, like, every female streamer. That you're and, talking to and, that, and then I and said. then I just and then I debunk that seven seconds in, but continue. 
Sure, but it's still the title of your video. I yeah, agree. So. Yeah, but if somebody, but if somebody is dumb enough to literally look at the title of the video and then immediately say, "Hey," like without watching it, then I mean, I can't help that, you know. Well, no, no, but uh, I can't do anything about that at all. And yeah. I'm just trying to but get to a point even where. If even if you're not talking to every female streamer, you are definitely talking, I think, to more female streamers than you intended to speak to. Okay. I and I think that that's how it ended up coming across. I can agree I, with that. I can agree with that. But the only thing that I'm still harping on is <coughs> that the that the message of manipulating viewers in any stretch, fine. We'll leave it open to guys and girls is wrong. Yes or no, right? That's yes, but that's the... It's about the definition of what manipulation actually is and where the line is drawn, and that becomes very arbitrary at some point because we both draw the line in different places as right. to what exactly manipulation is. Like, I could, if I wanted to be a dickhead, I could uh, claim that your title was manipulative. It's it's clickbait, uh, you know, because right. you you basically you've you've titled something which you immediately debunk, but you've titled it in such a way as to bring in more viewers, Absolutely. Uh, which. Just, yeah, which you admit to, which is fine. That's you're playing the YouTube game. Yeah. Uh, but some people would view that as manipulative and like a uh, very critical of say websites like BuzzFeed that do that all the time. Sure, sure, sure. And 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 that's so, not where about, you draw the line, right? Yeah, I don't draw the line there. Uh, right. But some people do, and and that's those are and, the people and that I don't, are going to have disagreeing with you. And I don't draw the line at girls showing their cleavage on stream. That's totally fine. Like I said, I yeah, I might be gay, but I love breasts. Everybody loves breasts. I've never of heard course. a guy say. No, ma'am. Please put those breasts away. Never. I love breasts. Love it. And there girls. Are, there are some breasts that should be put away. Let's anyway, be <laughs> but I, I think that you know, uh, girls have the freedom to do and say whatever they want. And I am not against. I, I'm not for censorship. I'm not. I just feel like the girls that really dig deep to the core and say, hey, you know. Uh, I'm gonna make you uh, donate to me in order to fill out, in order to email me or something like that. Here's my Amazon wish list. You get free pictures if you buy me something expensive. Cool. I, I think that's shitty. Yeah. Oh yeah, I agree. Next I time, maybe mention all of those things in the video because you didn't. Like uh, you know the Amazon wish list thing and the email to be my boyfriend thing. You never brought that up. That's why people, uh, when you are not specific, people will assume you're talking about them. Yeah, and the more the because you you admitted it earlier. You said that the video was vague, a vague statement. There's yeah. the problem. It was vague, and that's why some people took it that way. So I think a follow-up video is a great idea. Personally, I don't think you have to back off your principles at all. You're you're further investigating the issue. You're clarifying. You're making more ad revenue. Everybody fucking wins, and we can all go home, right? Okay. Well, I mean, I don't. I, again, I don't mind making a follow-up video so long as everyone is clear that. You know, the, the manipulation that I was just talking about is the one that is the thing that I was advocating for in the first place. Again, yep, I don't I really that. care if people have tits on their streams or love breasts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I get that now, and I think that everyone watching the stream gets it now, you know, but ultimately that video is still... The, the video sits without context on your channel right now and is continuing to rack up views. And uh, the more that that does, the more people are going to act the way that they have acted to you. Hopefully not with the death threats, because of course that's bullshit and those people are psychos. But with the people that took it as meaning more than you meant it to are still going to take it that way because you provided no outside context to them. This stream is not enough to inform them of that. A follow-up video would help a great deal. And that's what, and, and that's what I'm honestly like extremely afraid of is that the follow-up video, I'm, I'm dancing between a really fine line here because if I don't... If I don't make this video that is like really has to hammer on every point that everybody's complaining about, like, and and people are people are telling me all these things that I never even intended, I may just up, end up offending more people than I than I intended to. I well, honestly, that's a risk you're gonna take. Well, yeah, my I mean, this whole thing was risky. I learned one valuable damn thing. If this is the end of my goddamn career, I'm gonna tell you one thing right now before I go out. I'm going out swinging. I will never talk about a girl again. For the rest of my life, I will not even say the word female, st uh, female streamer. Uh, I will not say, I will, if I talk to a girl, I'm going to walk the other way. I'm going to literally walk left. Fuck that. I'm done. I can't. And, and I, in that moment, Sky became gay. Wait. No, nigga. I, ah, I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I just wanted to get you on Skype so that I can find, I, I can actually like understand where we can reach sort of like a middle ground where... Yes, maybe, okay, my video may not have displayed the message, and I personally think that 
my video. I, I personally think it did, but again, that's in my brain. See, I have all the information of exploitation of these girls, what they've been doing, and the audience didn't. I still am confused as to why more people than not understood what I was saying without me having to make a second video, but if you so feel... Can, can, uh, can I make one point on that? Yes. And this is potentially a little bit weird, okay. and you might not have considered this before. Okay. That maybe... You you said obviously the people that emailed you that explained everything is like yeah those people got what you were talking about but the people that were watching your video I mean there's almost been four hundred thousand now a lot of the people in in the YouTube comments and things like that might actually agree with what we viewed your point as being they might actually think it's really shitty that people stream with cleavage it's oh. really shitty that girls have an advantage how are you so and fucking good at this guy jealousy jealousy is a real thing and I'm it's yeah it's, you know, it's totally understandable so you're saying that you're saying that the fans that agreed with my video the people that agreed with my video could potentially be a mixture of people that believe that cleavage shouldn't be shown and a mixture mm -hmm. of people that got the actual point yeah pretty much fuck you mean Oh my god! Which is why a follow-up video would help a lot. Plus, more views. Why not? It's well, all good. I just... Roll in the business for money. Simple as that. Ah, you just went in. I, you're really good at this. I, you were I, the... I, you were a boss well battle. So, but, never even, mind. Even Siv messaged me. He was like, man, when Total Biscuit got on, this got hard as fuck. Well, thanks, dude. That really helps me out a lot, honestly. That, I'm really glad that you are able to put that into those words. That was beautiful. No problem. And never say that I don't help you again, you lying son of a bitch. Well, I'm saying that, like, we don't talk that often. That's you it. You never message me, you because, stupid swag. Because every single time I message you, I go on your Twitter, and it's something sad that's happening, and I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to bother t Total Biscuit. Well, that's your own bloody You fault, haven't gone baby. to PAX. You haven't gone to anything. I haven't even been of able to see you. Of course I haven't. I have a little, literal hole in my stomach. I can't I'll, get on a plane. Yes, Biscuit Bear. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't want to message you. Doesn't mean you, you can't you... talk to me. My mouth still works, even if my ass doesn't. Okay, well, I do want to talk to you and me Okay, anyway, uh, thank you for no clearing everything No problem at all, up, Sky. Uh, en enjoy the rest of your evening. Can you, uh, before you go, I guess later on tonight or maybe tomorrow, can we also... I was going to say, later on tonight, it's 2 a.m. You're fucking uh, pushing your luck, mate. Okay, nigga, just sleep then, bruh. But I'm Sounds saying, like, to me. sometime in the near future, I would like to go over if... If I do make a follow-up video, I do definitely want to talk to you about it. Um, yeah, run it past me first. I'm good with that. Okay. Awesome. Dude, thank you so much for everything. I'm really glad right. that I was able to get that from you and not sure. screaming or Casey troll. That's, that'd be very nice. But uh, thanks, man. I'll talk to you later. See you around. Have fun. All right. See ya. Holy shit, that nigga slayed. Total Biscuit is a fucking god. Wait, is your stream up? Yeah, I got bodied. It, it was a debate at first. It was me versus Casey Tron and Destiny, oh, I and I was like winning. And then Total Biscuit just unzips and just, and I had no choice but to. He just Total Biscuit. I gotta tweet. Oh, he's a, he's so hot. Oh my god! Don't even get me started. Hold on. Let me tweet out. Total Biscuit, I'm tweeting this, is a fucking god. Jesus. Total Biscuit is a god. Oh, I wasn't even winning in the beginning, to be honest. It was just hard. I was trying, but I, I'm not articulate enough to explain my point. Total Biscuit actually kind of saved my life. Like, because it went from, like, me not being able to get my point, and then he gave me a little hint, and then boom. But I really, I really genuinely feel like all I was trying to say is the manipulative people that do it for money are not good. It's just not, it's just not positive. So what did we learn? We learned to never talk about girls again. What else did we learn? That's it. Okay. That's all I fucking learned. I am literally never saying the word girl Female. Uh, oh, female is bad. You can't call them females. Why? <laughs> I'm not saying the word girl, female, not male in the same sentence. I'm not saying gender. I will no longer say ovaries. No, gender is fine. Sex is not. Sex, not saying sex. 
I'm not saying ovaries, fallopian tube, vagina. I'm not saying any of that shit. I, I'm breasts. breasts, nope, tits, none of that. I'm done. Never again will I ever mention the a girl. Ever. So only male champions now on league. Yeah. Only I'm only gonna play male champions. I'm just I'm. Yeah, I'm just gonna be a big dumb guy, and that's all I'm gonna do. Fuck Mundo. this. So, I'm hosting somebody, oh, and I'm about to. Mundo. Yeah, Mundo, <laughs> fucking. I, I, yeah, Brom. That's all I'm going to do. All right. You know what? Since all of you are in the argumentative mood, I, I'm I'm going to do a fucking Vulcan promo and then leave. That's... No, I'm not even... No, Vulcan.com. I'm going to do this real quick. No, I'm not. Hey, no, fuck it. I'm going to just host Lust Boy. Oh. Whoa! It's like watching Night Blue, but, but better. better. Well, that was the immediate notice. You cut your stream at least. Whoa, dude! A subscriber? What are you, gay? <laughs> I'll cook when I get back from... Oh, I'm gonna cook when I get back from the gas station. I'm not sure you just want to pick something up. That's on you, though.